Chapter 2101 God Extermination Canon Long Chen vanished just like that, leaving behind a swirl of dust where his foot had touched the ground. The dust swirled, but Long Chen had vanished. By the time people reacted, he was already in front of Zhao Wuji, slashing Evil Moon down. How fast! Everyone's heart shook. Long Chen had just moved so fast that they hadn't been able to track him at all. Boom! Zhao Wuji raised his sickle blades to block, but the impact was so immense that his arms turned numb. If his blades weren't connected to his armor, they would have been sent flying. Long Chen slammed a foot down at Zhao Wuji's face. Although Zhao Wuji was protected by his armor, his face was still deformed by this attack. Long Chen's lightning wings flapped, and he pushed with his foot smashing Zhao Wuji through several mountains, leaving dust in their wake. That's pretty good. Bidang Rushuang clenched her fists. Seeing Zhao Wuji being beaten was truly satisfying. The other experts were shocked by Long Chen's power, and Yi Lingxian smiled at that a bit mockingly. These ancient geniuses might not have been looking down on her expressly, but she knew that they looked down on cultivators from this current declined era. They felt a natural superiority or perhaps it was simply due to how outstanding they had been during their time. They were so arrogant that they didn't even care to know other people's abilities. When it came to Long Chen, they had mostly only learned his name. Some of them had even directly come to this gathering after being woken from their slumber. They still thought that this era was theirs, that this was the same era where they had dominated everyone. Before coming here, Hu Jinying had repeatedly told her to look after Long Chen and be nice to others. Her goal was to form good relationships with these experts, but she found that there was no way for her to join their circle. These experts might maintain polite courtesy, but they had a natural rejection toward her. The only ones she could count as friends here were Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. The others all inherently looked down on her. How was she supposed to form good relationships with them? Yi Lingxian was the successor of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and she had her own dignity. These people's conduct had already irritated her, but there had been nothing she could do about it. Now she was especially satisfied by their shock. Zhao Wuji let out a furious roar and finally managed to stabilize himself. He forced Long Chen back with a punch. The devil ape in his manifestation entered a berserk state, its aura growing crazily. At the same time, Zhao Wuji's armor began shining brighter as he ignited his essence blood. Long Chen. Zhao Wuji didn't even have a chance to say any grand words after entering his berserk state. Evil Moon was already slashing toward him. Boom. Zhao Wuji flipped through the air. Even with his manifestation, he wasn't strong enough. This is your so-called foundation? If so, you've really disappointed me. If not, then hurry up and show me your so-called foundation. Otherwise, you won't get a chance to if you wait any longer. Long Chen shot after Zhao Wuji, with the power of his dragon blood and 108,000 stars coursing through his veins. He felt like he was overflowing with energy. Evil Moon was just a blur as Long Chen repeatedly forced Zhao Wuji back. If it weren't for his armor, he'd have long since been killed. Yi Lingxian looked at Zhao Wuji disdainfully. He was an idiot. Previously. He had relied on his armor's mechanisms to put Long Chen at a disadvantage. However, now he wanted to use power to crush Long Chen, all while knowing that power was Long Chen's strongest point. Suddenly, Zhao Wuji's arms exploded, or they seemed to. In reality, his silver scales had lifted up, and rays of light had shot out from beneath. Evil Moon danced through the air, not allowing a single ray of light to pass. The lights were actually one-inch needles that now scattered through the air. Just as Long Chen blocked those needles, Zhao Wuji rapidly retreated and tossed a fist-sized sphere at Long Chen. Seeing that sphere, Long Chen chose to avoid it. However, it suddenly exploded before even reaching him. When the sphere exploded, it actually shot out a giant silk net that came between Long Chen and Zhao Wuji. Long Chen snorted and swung Evil Moon. Just as the net was contracting around him, Evil Moon cut a large hole in it which Long Chen flew through. That weapon of Long Chen's is quite sharp. It's actually able to slice through Heavenly Horn Dragon Silkworm Silk, said Bidang Rushuang. She instantly recognized that high-grade silk. A single strand of it with the width of a human hair could hold up a mountain. 
For Long Chen to be able to peer straight through it didn't just require technique and speed. Due to how it fluttered through the air, only an incredibly sharp weapon would be able to cut it. Not good. Bidang Rushuang suddenly let out a startled cry. Zhao Wuji had tossed out dozens of spheres at the same time. They all exploded, unleashing layers of nets that enveloped Long Chen. Long Chen could tear through one of them, but against so many, there was no way he had time to cut them one by one. Face your death. Seeing Long Chen enveloped by the nets, Zhao Wuji roared furiously, and a giant cylinder appeared on top of his shoulder. That cylinder was three meters long and as wide as a barrel. There were countless flowery marks carved on it. When it appeared, all the experts felt a chill. The mechanism sects killer divine item. The God Extermination Cannon The runes on the God Extermination Cannon lit up. Zhao Wuji's scales also began to shine brightly as he sent heavenly Tao energy surging into the God Extermination Cannon. The mouth of the cannon pointed at Long Chen who was entangled with the giant nets. It began to store a horrifying amount of power. Clearly, Zhao Wuji no longer minded wasting so much of the heavenly horned dragon silkworm silk if it could trap and allow him to kill Long Chen. As long as the nets delayed Long Chen for a breath's time, then the god extermination cannon would be fully charged. After that, even if Long Chen had ten lives, he wouldn't be able to survive. No one could instantly pierce through dozens of nets made of that powerful silk. In Zhao Wuji's eyes and the eyes of the majority of experts present, Long Chen was already dead. Zhao Wuji's own battle power wasn't very strong. His strongest aspect lay in the mechanism sect's unending layered mechanisms. At this point, even Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang's expressions changed. Just as the layers of nets were about to fully trap Long Chen, a strange flame exploded out of Long Chen, one that strangely looked like a curtain of water. Those nets were instantly incinerated. Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame. Startled cries rang out once more. All the experts here recognized that flame. Amongst the crowd, the pill fairy's pupils shrank. Long Chen's control over the inverse Tao water spirit flame was not the slightest bit inferior to her own. Those tough nets were like spider webs entering lava. They silently vanished. That sight stunned Zhao Wuji. He still hadn't finished storing up energy. If the god extermination cannon had been fully charged, then Long Chen would definitely die. However, he was now caught too early. Long Chen's figure vanished and he reappeared in front of Zhao Wuji, grabbing the god extermination cannon and kicking Zhao Wuji in the chest. Zhao Wuji's soul almost fled when Long Chen pointed the god extermination cannon at him. It had just finished storing up energy. It didn't need any more energy from his armor and could be activated any time. No. Seeing that black light converging at the mouth of the cannon, Zhao Wuji let out a furious roar. However, that black light still shot out. Long Chen held on tightly to the God Extermination Cannon, but he was still sent flying back a hundred miles from the huge force. He almost lost consciousness from that impact. A black pillar of light tore through the sky. The cannon had instantly grown in size upon shooting, unleashing a pillar of black light hundreds of meters thick. Everything, where that black light went by, was destroyed. Wherever it passed, all that remained was a black channel. Within that channel, Time was still. It was filled with the scent of death. That black channel lasted for several seconds in the air before slowly faded. However, even once it faded, the experts present couldn't help quivering. Perhaps the god extermination cannon really could slay a god if it hit them. In any case, there was no way a physical body could block it. Cough. When the light dissipated, it revealed someone coughing on the ground. Seeing that figure, people were stunned. Zhao Wuji Chapter 2102 Mechanism Puppet Zhao Wuji actually hadn't died despite suffering a direct hit from the God Extermination Cannon. However, his silver armor was now dull, and there was a bloody opening in his chest. It was even possible to see some of his broken organs. His face was frighteningly twisted. Just now, it had been extremely dangerous for him. He had activated the runes on his armor to gather an enormous amount of heavenly Tao energy to activate the god extermination cannon. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to possess the first ranked earth flame, the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Long Chen had instantly incinerated all his nets, ruining his plans and almost killing him. 
He really had thought that he would die just now. The only reason he was still alive was because Long Chen didn't know how to use the God Extermination Cannon. Normally, when aiming the God Extermination Cannon, one had to aim a bit lower than usual to hit their target. The force exploding out of it was so great that it would cause a huge recoil. Furthermore, Long Chen did not have the corresponding armor to help. As a result, the God Extermination Cannon had been aiming a bit too high, allowing Zhao Wuji to escape with his life. The attack had flown right by where he had been, but the shock waves were enough to almost kill him. If it weren't for his armor, he would have died a hundred times over. Although he had narrowly escaped death, he was in a wretched state. His eyes were red with rage at the thought of the God Extermination Cannon landing in Long Chen's hands. The God Extermination Cannon was one of the Mechanism Sect's supreme treasures. There were less than a handful of people in the sect qualified to use it. The Mechanism Sect had never allowed it to fall into other people's hands. It was viewed just as importantly as the sect's survival. If someone did obtain something from the Mechanism Sect and didn't immediately return it, the Mechanism Sect would immediately exterminate their entire sect throughout history. It was unknown just how many powers had been killed to the last to maintain the secrets of their mechanisms. They were willing to pay whatever price necessary. Hand over the God Extermination Cannon roared Zhao Wuji. Long Chen had yet to recover from his shock of the impact, but Zhao Wuji's roar brought him back to Earth. He smiled and put the God Extermination Cannon into the primal chaos space. Its runes were dim, and there was no way for Long Chen to activate it again. But it seemed that Zhao Wuji had sent him a big gift. Hand it over? What kind of joke was that? When something good landed in Long Chen's hands, no one could make him spit it out. Seeing Long Chen actually put away the God Extermination Cannon as if it was his battle spoils, Zhao Wuji roared, Long Chen, do you realize that what you're doing is a taboo of the mechanism sect? You are causing your sect's destruction if the God Extermination Cannon fell into an outsider's hands, then they might be able to figure out how it worked and how to counter it. It would be troublesome for the mechanism sect if one of their strongest trump cards was taken and studied. Most importantly, Zhao Wuji could not allow such a precedent, or all the secrets of the mechanism sect might be stolen away one by one. It wouldn't be long before others gained control of them. Don't be so troublesome. I'll just exterminate you first. Long Chen shot after Zhao Wuji once more. Fine. Since you want to die, I'll make sure you die right now. Zhao Wuji howled and waved his hand. Eighteen figures that looked the same as him appeared. These figures also each had a set of armor, but it wasn't made of heavenly Dao spirit silver. Instead, the armor was black and looked the same as the first state of his armor. Those eight figures were like his clones, and they charged at Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen's saber sent one of them flying. But what surprised Long Chen was that this figure's movements were very stiff and didn't contain any life. The others immediately collapsed on him. They held various weapons, and their attacking style was very crafty. Furthermore, as they attacked, the mechanisms from their armor constantly activated. All kinds of sneak attacks came out, and based on the smell, they were all extremely toxic. These are the mechanism sect's human-shaped puppets. Since Zhao Wuji brought them, they must be the high-level kind, said someone. The mechanism sect was unrivaled when it came to their specialty. No one could refute that. Their skill in mechanisms was on the same level as their insidious and treacherous character. These mechanism puppets had no life. They didn't know what pain was, and they didn't fear death. They worked together like a formation, and with how they occasionally launched sneak attacks from hidden mechanisms. They were another major factor in why people didn't like to exchange blows with experts of the mechanism sect exchanging blows with Zhao Wuji would be irritating enough to make someone cough up blood. All of their combat experience against others was useless against him. As for why Long Chen was able to fight against him, one reason was that the heavenly Dao suppression did not affect Long Chen, so he was able to ignore the effect of the heavenly Dao spirit silver. Another reason was the Azure Dragon battle armor was strong enough to block the majority of the sudden attacks of the hidden mechanisms. Even if he was injured by them, it wasn't serious. Others didn't have those two abilities, and so they were unable to fight at ease against Zhao Wuji. It could be said that two of Zhao Wuji's specialties had been suppressed by Long Chen, 
The only thing that could have killed Long Chen in one attack was the God Extermination Cannon, but now that had been taken away by Long Chen. As a result, these human-shaped puppets had come out. These puppets were Zhao Wuji's trump card. Every one of them was equivalent to a duplicate of himself, and every part of them contained killing mechanisms. A group of rotten metal thinks it can stop me. Long Chen snorted, kicking one puppet away while punching another. His fist unleashed a burst of flames that enveloped the puppet he punched. The puppet instantly caught on fire, but it didn't seem affected. It continued fighting just the same. What an idiot. He's using flames against puppets with no sense of pain. Sneered Shai Ling Feng. A stone only has a stone's brain. If you don't know how to think, then don't talk. Long Chen controlled the inverse Tao water spirit flame. It's different from ordinary fire. Unexpectedly, the previously silent pill fairy suddenly opened her mouth. You. Shai Ling Feng glared at her. The pill fairy didn't even look at him. Shai Ling Feng's fury continued to rise until he saw the divine halo behind the pill fairy's head. Then he chose to endure it. Boom. Long Chen let out a punch once more, but this time the puppet he hit exploded. A mass of flames filled the sky like a firework. How is that possible seeing that? Shai Ling Feng was dumbfounded. Were these puppets really afraid of fire? Long Chen's inverse Tao water spirit flame can burn away the runes on top of the puppets with its immense heat. The puppet gradually loses its functions, and in the end, it really becomes nothing more than rotten metal. Explain someone. Zhao Wuji is in danger then. All of Long Chen's abilities counter him. It's like he was born as his bane. Boom. Yet another puppet was destroyed. Zhao Wuji's plan had been for the puppets to give him some breathing room as he recovered from his grievous injuries from the God Extermination Cannon. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to have set them all aflame in just a few seconds. There was no time for him to work together with them to kill Long Chen. Boom. A third puppet was destroyed, leaving only five. Furthermore, those five were growing unstable due to the flames enveloping them. Bastard. Zhao Wuji was enraged and distressed. It had taken him a huge amount of time and effort to create these puppets. They were his proudest creations and had been made from the best materials. It could be said that Zhao Wuji was a grand master of mechanisms. But the pieces that he was most proud of were being turned into scrap metal by Long Chen. His heart was dripping blood. Mechanisms are just an external force, and they can't last for long. The core of cultivation is the self. The power that yourself can control is your true power. The human body is a treasure trove of potential, but your aura is unstable and devoid of power. I don't see any hint of the will of the martial Tao. Did you think your external power would be enough to contend against the world's top geniuses? How laughable. The heavens must really dote on you. Or if you were born in my generation, there was no way you would have lived so long. Long Chen destroyed another two puppets. Seeing how furious Zhao Wuji was, he couldn't help feeling a kind of delight. This bastard had killed the disciples of the original devil race right in front of him. Hence, Long Chen would make him pay the price, or he wouldn't be able to face Yu Ziaokian in the future. Shut up. The path of cultivation is just to get stronger. The strong devour the weak. As long as you can get stronger, who cares if it's external or internal power? As long as it's strong enough, the person wielding it can still dominate. HMPH. The goal of cultivation is to fulfill your desires. Do you really think you've beaten me already? Keep dreaming. Zhao Wuji suddenly waved his hand, and the world darkened. Countless black figures appeared in the sky. Those black figures included locusts, bats, sparrows, etc. Not only were they the right size, but the way they flew was also perfect. However, they were actually all puppets made by the mechanism sect they numbered in the tens of thousands. Dozens of those puppets flew over, and before even getting near Long Chen, they exploded, filling the air with a dark red mist that had a nauseating scent. Die, all of you. Explode Zhao Wuji let out a furious roar and his army of tens of thousands of puppets charged at Long Chen. Chapter 2103 This is your so-called foundation? That mist. People stared in disbelief at that mist. The moment it appeared, ripples appeared in the space around Long Chen. It was like space was currently freezing. Cracks were appearing everywhere. This is the powder of spatial stone. 
it can solidify space. And if any intense fluctuations strike it during that time, it can cause that space to shatter. Everything within that space will be destroyed, said someone. People couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air. Zhao Wuji really had money. He was even able to obtain a treasure like spatial stone. They also knew that the only reason he had taken it out was because he had been forced to. He was using this powder to restrict Long Chen and then have his tens of thousands of puppets detonate that space. It seems that you're already out of tricks. Long Chen's mouth curled into a cold smile. Zhao Wuji was definitely brainless. Did he not realize that to freeze space, the space had to be still? Like freezing water, it was much more difficult to freeze running water than water that was still. Those puppets had taken out enough of the powder to freeze the space during ordinary times. But Zhao Wuji had forgotten one thing in his panic and rage. When Long Chen had destroyed his first eight puppets, he had used the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame. Its fluctuations were still present within the air. These fluctuations could be controlled by Long Chen, and they could be considered Long Chen's domain. As for Zhao Wuji, if he wanted to freeze this domain, it would take several times longer than usual. Flames burst out of Evil Moon and Long Chen unleashed a thrust at the puppets charging toward him, sending out a giant saber image. That giant saber image was a zone of death for these puppets. The puppets exploded instantly upon contact. As they exploded, the surrounding space tore and cracked. The space that Zhao Wuji had sealed was twisting, exploding, and distorting. It was like a star imploding from the inside. Boom. That space fully collapsed forming a giant black hole that pulled in everything within the surroundings. The sand of the desert was sucked away rapidly. What terrifying spatial energy. He actually broke the spatial rampart. This attack was probably on the same level as the god extermination cannon's attack. It was a good technique, but it's too bad his head wasn't good enough. While everyone was stunned by this move, some scoffed. Just as Zhao Wuji thought that Long Chen had been blown to bits. Evil Moon slashed at his neck, coming from a strange angle. Zhao Wuji was caught completely off guard. He couldn't understand how Long Chen had escaped from his sealed space. All he could do was raise his hand to block Long Chen's saber. Silver sparks flew. Evil Moon was actually unable to pierce his armor. Long Chen snorted and put Evil Moon away. He grabbed Zhao Wuji's arm, and using his other hand, he pulled on the scales covering Zhao Wuji's arm. Blood splashed. Zhao Wuji let out a screech as Long Chen actually ripped a chunk of his scales off of his arm. Unexpectedly, those scales brought away his flesh and blood. They were actually growing on top of his body. It seems that Zhao Wuji has turned himself into something not human. He has fully merged his armor with his body. No wonder it's so nimble. He's quite ruthless. Fusing armor with the physical body and getting it to move as he wishes would definitely cause inhuman pain. People felt a chill upon seeing this sight. No wonder the mechanism sects people were so vicious. They were also vicious to themselves. Die. Zhao Wuji howled. Having his scales ripped off made every part of him burn with pain. In order to merge with his armor, he had essentially sacrificed his flesh and soul to it. That had been the only way to make his armor as nimble as his own body. Because of it, he could also activate his mechanisms at will. The pain of having his armor being torn off was like having his fingernails plucked off. He saw stars from the pain. The wings behind Zhao Wuji fell off, transforming into feathers that shot at Long Chen. The wings actually had their own independent attack. Those feathers were incredibly sharp, and considering how short the distance between them was, Long Chen was instantly struck. The feathers pierced his armor, immediately making him bleed. Yi Lingxin jumped at the sight of Long Chen looking like a hedgehog, but covered in feathers instead of quills. Even his armor was unable to block the feathers. Many thanks. Despite being struck, Long Chen smiled. Those feathers vanished from his body. They had actually been taken away by him as well. Long Chen's scales are extremely strong. If it was anyone else, they'd have been torn to shreds, said someone. Both of them had scales covering their bodies. Zhao Wuji was extremely unlucky to face an enemy who countered all his techniques. Long Chen still had a hold on Zhao Wuji's arm. His other hand was like a hook, tearing into the place where he had torn Zhao Wuji's scales off. 
Ahh blood splashed as Zhao Wuji let out a mournful wail. Long Chen had now ripped out a chunk of his flesh from the opening in his armor. That sight was hair-raising. Zhao Wuji cried crazily as he activated all the mechanisms of his armor, trying to repel Long Chen. Only one arm was free, and his blade was too long to be used at such short range. It had actually become a liability. The attacks of the mechanisms though were endured by Long Chen's dragon scales as he continued clawing away at Zhao Wuji's flesh. Finally, a cracking sound rang out as Zhao Wuji's arm went flying. Zhao Wuji severed his own arm to get away, exclaimed someone. As that person said, Zhao Wuji was now flying back, having escaped Long Chen's grasp. Keep dreaming, Long Chen sneered, and at this moment, people suddenly found that a net had appeared beneath Long Chen's feet. The other end of the net was wrapped around Zhao Wuji's feet. No one had noticed this before, but now that Zhao Wuji was fleeing, they noticed it since Zhao Wuji was unable to create any distance between himself and Long Chen. That's the silk net of the heavenly horned dragon silkworm. These experts instantly recognized this net to be one of the nets that Zhao Wuji had tried to use to bind Long Chen. Weren't those nets incinerated by the inverse Tao water spirit flame? No. It is the net that he pierced through at the beginning. The others were incinerated by the inverse Tao water spirit flame. When he didn't have time to gather them, deduced someone else. Long Chen pulled with his foot, and Zhao Wuji came flying back to him. Long Chen gave him a punch straight to the face. With a pained grunt, Zhao Wuji almost instinctively swung his blades at Long Chen. Regretfully, Long Chen tugged on the net below, causing Zhao Wuji to fall back and making his attack miss. As Zhao Wuji lost his balance, Long Chen grabbed his tail. Evil Moon reappeared in his hand, and he swung it right at the base of Zhao Wuji's tail. There was the slightest chink in his scaled armor there. And so Long Chen sliced off his tail. With his tail cut off, Zhao Wuji's entire body shuddered. That tail was connected to his coccyx. To be able to make his tail move, his nerves extended into it. This cut made Zhao Wuji's gaze turn black, and he almost fainted. Seeing Zhao Wuji shuddering from pain, the other experts shuddered sympathetically as well as they imagined what that must have felt like. A spider caught in its own web. Seeing Zhao Wuji being trapped by his own silk web, this phrase appeared in many people's heads. Long Chen didn't give Zhao Wuji any chance to escape. The two of them began a fight with fists and feet. Long Chen had no choice but to put away Evil Moon as he was unable to pierce Zhao Wuji's scales. Grabbing Zhao Wuji's shoulder, he once more ripped off a chunk of scales. Is Long Chen trying to strip Zhao Wuji? As soon as the first chunk of scales had been torn off, the overall power of Zhao Wuji's armor had dropped. Then his tail and arm were torn off too, making his armor incomplete. It was no longer as strong as it had been at the start. This is your so-called foundation? I'm not seeing anything worth seeing. Or are you just so low-key that you keep your foundation hidden? Fine then. I'll just search for it bit by bit until I find it. With each claw from Long Chen, another chunk of Zhao Wuji's body came flying off. He was quickly covered in blood. It was an especially ghastly sight. Brother Long, why don't we stop things here? You've already won. Forgiveness brings forgiveness. After all, we still have to work together to fight the Dark Era finally. Dong Fang Yuang walked up. No one comes over. Only one of us two is getting out alive today. Whoever comes over will become my enemy, shouted Long Chen. Zhao Wuji had repeatedly gone against him even causing the deaths of the original devil race's disciples right in front of him. Long Chen had to kill him. He needed to get vengeance for those disciples. But killing Zhao Wuji directly would be letting him off too easily. Long Chen needed him to die in endless pain to make up for his sins. Suddenly, a large figure charged over, disregarding his warning. Long Chen, who do you think you are who cares if they become your enemy? Chapter 2104 Fighting Shai Lingfeng A humanoid giant charged through the air like a meteor, and its entire body was blazing with divine light. Shai Lingfeng was attacking. Shai Lingfeng's fist came straight toward Long Chen. Hence, people were startled that he would actually attack now. Did he have some kind of relationship with Zhao Wuji? That didn't sound very likely. The stone race had been isolated from the rest of the world. As for the mechanism sect, they had also been hiding in their little corner. 
the location of their headquarters was a secret. Theoretically, there should be no way for the two of them to have made contact before. Hence, Shai Lingfeng's attack caught many people off guard. The lumps on Shai Lingfeng's body actually opened, revealing diamond-like crystals. When those crystals appeared, the heavenly deos rumbled and the earth quivered. A crushing aura rose. Those crystals were like stars, and as they shone, Shai Lingfeng's power ignited. Long Chen felt a suffocating feeling as if some kind of power was crushing him from all directions. It seemed to be some kind of magical art or divine ability. Do you want us to take action? Just at this moment, Bidang Rushuang sent him a message. No, today's my chance to establish my might. Otherwise, these blind fools will continue targeting me forever, replied Long Chen. With a cold snort, Long Chen swung Zhao Wuji into Shai Lingfeng's fist. Bang! Shai Lingfeng's fist smashed into Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji stiffened and then became covered by a layer of rock. He was instantly turned into a stone statue. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook, and he hastily pulled back his hand. The stone creeping across Zhao Wuji's body was rapidly spreading. Although Long Chen pulled back his hand quickly, he was still affected. A layer of rock was starting to grow on top of his palm. It almost instantly covered up to his elbow. Long Chen shook his hand, causing the stone to explode. However, once it was gone, it revealed a bloody palm. This stone was very strange. It had started to bore into his flesh. Without the dragon scales to block it, his arm would have entirely been turned to stone. Let's see how arrogant you can be after I turn you into stone dust. Shai Lingfeng snorted and swung Zhao Wuji behind him. After not being in contact with Shai Lingfeng, the stone covering Zhao Wuji dissolved, returning him to his former state. He was actually entirely unharmed. Have a taste of my fist. Shai Lingfeng sent another punch, and the same ancient runes appeared on his fist just like his last attack. This is the stone race's innate divine ability. Anything that comes into contact with it will turn to stone. It's very difficult to deal with. Once your hands are turned to stone, you can't form hand seals, said someone. Sighing, the heavenly deos gave birth to all things, and sometimes they would give birth to some curious and bizarre existences. The stone race was one such existence. They didn't have bodies of flesh and blood but still had high intellect and immense combat power. Fortunately, their numbers were low, or the entire world might have been destroyed by them. Little Pebble, Long Chen sneered and waved his hand. A flame sphere appeared in his hand, facing Shai Lingfeng's fist. Boom. Shai Lingfeng let out a grunt as he was blown back. Flames lingered on his fist. It was the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Long Chen didn't feel any joy after forcing back Shai Lingfeng. Instead, he was shocked. That sphere in his hand had been starfall. He had condensed it at high speed, making it extremely berserk. However, it hadn't destroyed Shai Lingfeng's fist. It hadn't even injured him. At the very least though. The inverse Tao water spirit flame was worthy of being the number one earth flame. It had blocked Shai Lingfeng's bizarre divine ability. Since that was the case, Long Chen was at ease. He stepped forward, flames flowing from his body. I've heard that your stone race has unparalleled power. You bragged about your close range combat skills until the very heavens shook. It seems that all this fame is nonsense though, mocked Long Chen as he suddenly stamped his foot down at Shai Lingfeng. That was an extremely insulting attack. If Long Chen didn't hate him to such an extent, he definitely wouldn't use such a move. Die. Shai Lingfeng was infuriated. He reached out a hand to grab Long Chen's foot. As long as he grabbed it, he was confident in pummeling Long Chen to death. Regretfully, this attack was a fake. Shai Lingfeng's hand clasped around thin air, while Long Chen dodged him like a nimble fish. When Long Chen was behind him, his foot whipped out at Shai Lingfeng's neck. Long Chen's foot struck his target. The entire world shook, and the immense power caused large spatial fluctuations. Shockingly, Shai Lingfeng was completely uninjured. Bastard. Shai Lingfeng felt a burst of dizziness from this kick. His body was extremely tough and almost impervious to punches and kicks. But this attack still infuriated him. His hands reached for Long Chen. Evil Moon once more appeared in Long Chen's hand and he repeatedly slashed it at Shai Lingfeng. However, all that happened was that a few sparks flew, and a few marks appeared on his body. 
Those marks also quickly faded. Your broken saber is barely an inch, sneered Shai Lingfang, repeatedly attacking Long Chen with his fists. Long Chen sneered inside. Evil Moon was still in slumber. Once it awoke, he would see if this idiot could still be so arrogant. However, he was truly stunned by Shai Lingfeng's body. It was hard and tough. That wasn't a power that stone should possess. Suddenly, Shai Lingfeng was slapped in the face. Long Chen cursed inside as he felt a biting pain on his palm from how hard his face was. However, this slap was effective in fully provoking all of Shai Lingfeng's rage. Blood runes swirled inside his eyes, and he suddenly clapped his hands together. Seal the heavens, lock the earth, stone entraps all life. The crystals on Shai Lingfeng's body unleashed rays of divine light. The earth exploded, and one giant boulder after another came flying out. Those boulders smashed into Long Chen and Shai Lingfeng. The void rumbled as more and more of them gathered. In just a moment, they had formed a giant sphere of stones trapping the two of them inside. The giant sphere continued to compress and grow as more boulders flew into it. Everyone's hearts shook at this terrifying move. All the stones within tens of thousands of miles had been called over. They had long since heard that the stone race had the ability to control all the stones beneath the heavens. As long as the earth was not destroyed, they possessed limitless power. Furthermore, the speed at which Shai Lingfeng had completed this move was truly shocking. Before anyone could react, Long Chen and Shai Lingfeng had been trapped within that stone sphere. The stone sphere was irregular at the start, but then runes appeared on top of it, and the surface became smooth and glossy. Seeing that perfect sphere that was thousands of miles thick simply stunned people. It was like a star floating there. Runic chains came shooting out of the bottom of it, extending all the way to the top and binding it. When those chains finished binding the sphere, startled cries rang out. That giant sphere actually instantly shrank to just 300 meters. Yi Lingshan and the others' hearts clenched. Could a physical body really endure that much pressure? For the sphere to compress so much in an instant, other than Shai Lingfang, anyone else would be crushed. Boom. Suddenly, the sphere exploded, revealing Long Chen wrapped in flames. Those flames formed the shape of a giant lotus around him. He was completely unharmed, but with his body covered in flames. It was hard to see his expression. As for Shai Lingfang, he had been forced back. He was shocked. Just as he had thought that he could kill Long Chen with this move, Long Chen suddenly erupted like a volcano. His flame energy had caused his divine energy to go into disarray. He didn't have a chance to unleash the final killing move of it. His body still wrapped in flames. Long Chen shot after Shai Lingfang. Boom. Shai Lingfeng recovered from his shock and unleashed a powerful punch, while with his other hand, he slapped his own chest, causing all his crystals to light up. Have a taste of this attack, shouted Shai Lingfeng. Have a taste of mine instead. A voice rang out beside Shai Lingfeng. A hand silently came from a strange angle, striking his eye. As for the long chen that was wrapped in flames, he exploded from Shai Lingfeng's punch. It was only now that Shai Lingfeng realized it was a fake. By that time, his eye had already been carved out by the real Long Chen. Ahh Shai Lingfeng let out a heaven-shaking roar. He swung his arm behind him but missed. Long Chen was already floating in the sky, holding a glimmering gemstone. Long Chen, I'll exterminate your whole race. Having one of his eyes stolen, Shai Lingfeng howled furiously. His crystals actually split open. Like every one of them was an eye. A kind of forbidden energy began to condense. Then I'll just exterminate you first. Long Chen formed hand seals. Thunder clapped and lightning raged behind him. The great era has come. But no sovereign has appeared. If we fight amongst ourselves. All the lives of the continent will be in danger. Are the two of you trying to get the continent destroyed? Just at this moment. A calm voice rang out. Everyone hastily looked over to the source. Chapter 2105 Strong Start Weak Finish An elder had appeared. He held a walking stick but appeared healthy, and he slowly walked over. Despite his age, his eyes looked like they could see through all things within this world. Family Head Dongfang Yuyang immediately went over to lend an arm to this elder. Hearing that, everyone immediately bowed. Greetings, Family Head. The elder nodded slightly indicating that there was no need to be so courteous. 
His cultivation base was not apparent, but due to his status, no one dared to slide him as the head of an everlasting family. He walked over to Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji was covered in blood, and there were still pieces missing from his body. Because his armor was part of him, it was difficult for him to heal from any injuries. Even his heavenly Tao energy was only able to stop the bleeding but not restore his flesh. Seeing his injuries, the elder shook his head. Why bother? The elder slowly brushed a hand over Zhao Wuji's hand. Light flowed out, and Zhao Wuji's injuries began to rapidly heal. These injuries that even heavenly Tao energy couldn't heal were fixed with a wave of his hand. That shook everyone's heart. This was clearly wood elemental energy. So the Dongfang family's head was a wood cultivator. However, while his injuries healed, the scales that Long Chen had torn off would not be returning. Those scales had already been taken by Long Chen. A third of Zhao Wuji's armor was gone, and his tail was missing as well. Many thanks, family head. Zhao Wuji hastily said his thanks. However, when he looked at Long Chen, his eyes were filled with rancor. Long Chen didn't say a word upon seeing the elder. He just calmly looked at him, but when Zhao Wuji glared over at him, he coldly said, I'm still waiting to see your foundation. I'm looking forward to it. You. <laughs> Zhao Wuji coughed up a mouthful of blood. Cracks appeared on the injuries that had just healed, showing signs of crumbling entirely. He hastily focused on stabilizing his mental state. The elder shook his head helplessly. If there are any words to say, why can't you sit down and talk amicably? Do you really need to fight to the point of one side dying? Long Chen smiled. Senior is correct in theory, but in reality, there is no way to carry that out. I was invited here by Brother Dong Fang, so I had no choice but to come. I came precisely with the intention to sit down and talk amicably. But in reality, I encountered a few disciples of the mechanism sect on the way here who were in the habit of being tyrannical and wanted to kill me. Then when I got here, I found that the so-called experts aren't the experts that I imagined. Even if they did once dominate their generation, it was only because their opponents were incompetent. I'm not going to allow people to trample over my dignity. Long Chen had already been holding back his frustration from everything that had happened here. The icy arrogance that these so-called peerless geniuses showed him was irritating. True experts didn't need to act like that. Did they think haughtiness was what had made the sovereigns? Sovereign Yun Chang hadn't shown the slightest arrogance to him. You were the one who first provoked my mechanism sect. You killed our disciples and stole our treasure. The enmity between us must be paid with blood, shouted Zhao Wuji. Come then, bring out your so-called foundation and pay the blood debt, sneered Long Chen. Zhao Wuji felt his barely suppressed rage soar once more. His injuries almost flared up again. He clenched his teeth so hard that they creaked. All right. Long Chen, just wait, I will destroy your... Zhao Wuji suddenly found that he didn't know what to say. Destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect? But Long Chen was no longer a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect destroy the Martial Heaven Alliance? He didn't have that courage. Furthermore, Long Chen was the leader of the Dragonblood Legion, which was an entity outside the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although they were allied, he was not under the command of the Martial Heaven Alliance. He didn't know what he was supposed to threaten him with. Senior, you've witnessed it with your own eyes. This fellow is already my mortal enemy. Do you think we can possibly discuss things nicely? Long Chen shrugged at the elder. That's probably unlikely the elder looked at Zhao Wuji, then at Shai Lingfeng who had one eye missing. He bitterly smiled, shaking his head. However, let this old man share a bit of advice. People will always have enemies. Sometimes to protect yourself, for peace, and for the future of the entire world. Enduring it is what an expert should do. Sorry senior, I'm incapable of that. I've never once thought of becoming a sovereign because I don't have the heart and kindness of the sovereigns. I am someone who repays kindness and avenges enmities. If someone treats me well, I'll repay them. If someone harms me, I'll repay them as well. So don't give me your high-end principles. The only principle I acknowledge is that anyone who tries to kill me has to be prepared to be killed by me as well, said Long Chen. After saying that, Long Chen walked over to Yi Hikyu, holding her hand. He said to Dong Fang Yuyang, Brother Dong Fang, 
Sorry for failing to live up to your kindness. It seems I'm not some hero fit for this gathering. If I have a chance, I'll make up for this some other time. Goodbye, Brother Long. Dong Fang Yuyang tried to stop him, but Long Chen was already leaving. Long Chen, just wait. I'll make you pay a miserable price, shouted Zhao Wuji. I'm still waiting for your foundation, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen, return my eye, roared Shai Ling Fang, ready to charge over. If you dare to block me, there will no longer be a Shai Ling Feng in this world, said Long Chen coldly without even looking back. Brother Shai, let him be arrogant for now. Your eye has your aura on it, so you can find him at any time now. We can join hands to destroy him and his dragon blood legion. Zhao Wuji sent a message to Shai Ling Feng. Shai Ling Feng hesitated after hearing that message. In the end, he chose to trust Zhao Wuji. He felt that what Zhao Wuji said was correct. However, as a member of the stone race, he hated when others insulted him by saying he had stone for brains. That was because the stone race truly had limited intelligence. He felt that Zhao Wuji's words were reasonable. However, he completely forgot that when Long Chen had taken his eye, he had lost his connection to that eye and could no longer sense it. That eye had already been placed into the primal chaos space. There was no way he could sense it. But his brain wasn't able to think of that problem. As for Zhao Wuji, he thought that since Shai Ling Feng had accepted his proposal, he was confident in using that eye to find Long Chen. If that was the case, they could capture him easily. Perhaps when they realized the misunderstanding, they would both cough up blood and die from embarrassment. Brother Dong Fang, thank you for your warm hospitality. I'll also be leaving now. Although there's some displeasure when it comes to Long Chen, I hope that the Dong Fang family can have a long friendship with the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Yi Lingxian. She bowed to the elder and said goodbye to Dong Fang Yuyang. Junior sister Lingxian, don't worry, brother Long Chen's character is simply like this. Many experts are reclusive. I trust that we'll definitely be able to find a way to work together, said Dong Fang Yuyang. Thank you. Yi Lingxian nodded and followed Long Chen's footsteps. Quite a few experts felt a bit odd with Yi Lingxian's departure. Even if she was weak, she represented the world's strongest alliance. Now that she was gone, what was the point of this gathering? The Zither Fairy also rose to say her goodbyes. She had been very low-key here. She had rarely said anything and also hadn't expressed any of her own opinions. In fact, even when she was invited to play a song during the banquet last night, she had tactfully declined. This time, it was like she was a green leaf silently accompanying Long Chen. She hadn't unleashed a trace of her own splendor. Sorry, but I have some other things to handle, so I won't be staying any longer. Thank you to the Dongfang family for hosting this gathering, and thank you brother Dongfang for your kindness. Hu Feng cupped his fists toward Dongfang Yuyang and left. Goodbye. Unexpectedly, the pill fairy also left after simply spitting out a single word. Pill fairy, why are you in a rush to leave? Without you, this gathering of past and present heroes will lose its splendor, said Dong Fang Yuyang hastily. He hadn't said anything to the others, but he had no choice when it came to the pill fairy. However, the pill fairy shook her head. I only came here to watch, and it really was a good show. Now that the show's over, it's time for me to leave. Ah, but I should mention that when the Chi Flow eruption occurs, Pill Valley will not be cooperating with anyone nor will we be sharing it. Everyone can just compete using their own abilities. It's nothing more than natural selection. The Pill Fairy also left without turning back. Her words shook people's hearts. The Pill Fairy was saying that whoever's fist was harder would get a bigger share over the Chi Flow eruption. There would be no discussion over that. People exchanged glances, not knowing what to do. Suddenly, they found that the blood kill hall's Dong Mingyu had also vanished without anyone noticing. We're also busy, so we'll take our leave. Family head, brother Dong Fang, goodbye. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu also left, making Dong Fang Yuyang's expression grow unsightly. With the two of them leaving as well, the others also said their goodbyes. This grand gathering of past and present heroes had a strong start, but due to Long Chen's disturbance, it ended just like this. Chapter 2106 Major Changes on the Horizon The Pill Fairy, Nangong Zuiyu, 
and Bidang Rushuang represented three of the top powers on the continent. Without them, this entire gathering had lost its meaning. The others all left. Originally, their goal was to create a plan for the Qi flow eruption and how they should face the Dark Era. Long Chen's absence wasn't anything important to them. He didn't represent a major faction. He and his Dragonblood Legion were nothing to them. However, his departure caused a chain reaction. There was no way to continue holding this gathering. So Dongfang Yuyang could only send people away. Once everyone was gone, the family head and Dongfang Yuyang entered a private room gloomily. The family head's warm smile had long since vanished, replaced with iciness. Do you know your greatest mistake this time? I underestimated Long Chen's daring, sighed Dongfang Yuyang. Wrong. You were in too much of a rush. Did you really think you could eliminate Long Chen this way? Family head, I sense something from Long Chen that gives me a grave sense of danger. Although it's just a feeling, it's very intense. I must get rid of him. What is it? The family head was startled by this. Dongfang Yuyang shook his head. I'm not sure. I can't say where this feeling comes from. It's just a sense of danger, a sense of pressure greater than any other expert. This feeling of danger seems to come from my soul yet it is also like some kind of external power. I can't say for sure, but Long Chen is definitely the greatest pillar of the righteous path. He must be eliminated the family had thought about it for a while before shaking his head. That's why you set up that trap for him on his way here? You wanted Zhao Wuji to form an enmity with Long Chen, and with him as the lead. Make all the other experts who have enmity with Long Chen join together to kill him. That was my original plan. Don't you feel like that was forcing things too much? Furthermore, you left clues. Aren't you afraid of drawing Long Chen's suspicions the Qi flow eruption is coming soon? I have no choice but to take some risks. You're still too young. You could have used a much better method to get rid of Long Chen without raising any suspicions. Don't think that Long Chen is just one person. He has allies. Those two girls from the Nangong and Bidang families are interested in him and support him. As for the Pill Fairy from Pill Valley, it's said that they were once in a relationship. It's still too early to say whether they are friends or enemies. Before even making things clear, you already made such a rash move. It was fated that you would fail. That truly was out of my expectations. It seems I'm still not mature enough. Specialize in your own field. Your talent lies in cultivation, not scheming. Well, in any case, you've managed to push Long Chen into the center of the storm. It wasn't a complete failure but this gathering was a failure, said Dong Fang Yuyang apologetically. No, although it wasn't a success, it wasn't a failure either. At the very least, we've displayed our power, and the auction went very well. We should have a monopoly over any high-level trades in the future. All the money we spent. We'll get back a hundred times over, said the family head. As for the rest, just keep playing your good character. Don't fight if you don't have to. Don't expose your power. As long as you continue doing what you've done, then even with all these geniuses and monsters, the only one capable of becoming a sovereign is you. As for Long Chen, don't bother with him. I'll arrange things. He cannot be allowed to delay your big plan. Just do your best not to expose your identity, or it'll be troublesome. When it comes to that, you should be careful of a few characters. Don't underestimate Kun Pengzi just because he's a Xuan beast. He's extremely intelligent and frighteningly cool-headed. When Long Chen and Zhao Wuji first exchanged blows, he could already tell who would win. There's also the Pill Fairy. I don't know what Pill Valley is planning to be acting so mysterious. Finally. There's that girl from the Bloodkill Hall. Do not offend her no matter what. An assassin that might appear behind you at any moment is a nightmare. Dongfang Yuyang nodded. This was a glorious era where all kinds of monsters were appearing. There can only be one sovereign. The rest of you will just be accompanying figures. A smile appeared on Dongfang Yuyang's handsome face. But compared to before, this smile was a bit more sinister. Long Chen, why are you going so fast? It's not like anyone's chasing after you. Long Chen was pulling Yi's Hikyu away when Bidang Rushuang's voice rang out behind him. Yi Lingshan, Bidang Rushuang, Nangong Zuayu, and Zi Yan had all come. Long Chen smiled and cupped his fists toward them to express his thanks. 
Long Chen, I have to return to the elusive music immortal palace. With all these powerful geniuses appearing, you have to take care. Zi Yan gave Long Chen a profound look before saying goodbye to the others and leaving. Long Chen, although you're an irritating fellow normally, when the fighting starts, you really are manly enough. That fight of yours was quite satisfying. If you ever have time, you can come to my Bidang family as a guest. Our gates will always be open to you, said Bidang Rushuang grandly. The Nangong family is the same. We would welcome you as a guest, said Nangong Zuayu. This was truly a symbol of kindness. He was currently surrounded by enemies. For them to invite him as a guest was clearly indicating that they would protect him. Many thanks. If I have time, I'll definitely come. Long Chen cupped his fists toward them. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang parted ways with them there. Long Chen waited for a moment, but Hu Feng never appeared. He must have left on his own. Taking out his flying boat, he, Yi Zhikyu, and Yi Lingxian hopped on. For Long Chen, this gathering of past and present heroes had ended in a satisfactory manner. Long Chen, how am I supposed to give an explanation to my master about this? cried Yi Lingxian. That's your matter. I'm not going with you, said Long Chen nonchalantly. This was all your fault. Don't think you can toss the responsibility onto me. You have to go back with me, raged Yi Lingxian. Long Chen controlled the flying boat. He smiled slightly. Girl, you're still too immature. In truth, this gathering was nothing good. There were many things that they already arranged to go a certain manner. No matter what you did, things would have ended the same way. What are you talking about? Yi Lingxian and Yi Zhikyu looked at Long Chen curiously. This so-called gathering of past and present heroes was the Dongfang family's method of showing their power. They not only gathered the people, but they also gathered the resources. Don't listen to their nonsense about thinking about the continent and all the lives on it. If you really believed that, you'd be an idiot. This gathering was a trap for me. And I even suspect that my enmity with the mechanism sect on the way here was also arranged, or that would be too much of a coincidence. Every step I took within the ancient city, I stumbled across Zhao Wuji, or Huang Fian, or Shai Lingfang. They repeatedly provoked me, making me stay in an angry state. At first, I really was too angry to see things clearly, but when those disciples of the original devil race appeared, I realized that this was all a trap prepared for me. Upon thinking of those disciples, killing intent once more appeared in Long Chen's eyes. That disciple had clearly recognized him, but to not implicate him, the disciple had used the original devil race's secret art to kill himself and even take his companions with him. Just how much pain had he been in to kill his companions? There was no way others could imagine just how helpless he had felt. When that disciple shouted the name Mixihaiya, that was when Long Chen realized that it had all been a trap. Although it was just one name, through different syllables, it could express different meanings. In his shout, that disciple had managed to convey a piece of information to Long Chen. They had been interrogated by Dongfang Yuyang. They had seals in their souls that didn't allow Dongfang Yuyang to get any valuable information from them. But this information was what made Long Chen realize that it was Dong Fang Yuyang who had created this trap for him. He was a complete hypocrite. He had been hiding his true self very well. Long Chen didn't know what method Dong Fang Yuyang had used to hide his hostility toward Long Chen despite him having the nine star hegemon body art. Long Chen had never felt well toward Dong Fang Yuyang, but he had assumed that it was simply some form of envy. After all, whether it was in terms of looks or position, there was no way for Long Chen to compare to him. However, now that he thought back on it, that feeling of dislike might be a reaction from instinctively sensing his hostility. You mean that Dong Fang Yuyang wants to harm you? Impossible. Mr. Dong Fang is a very good person, exclaimed Yi Lingxian with disbelief. Long Chen didn't reply. He just silently controlled the flying boat. Why aren't you saying anything? Asked Ji Lingxian. What is there to say? Since you trust him, whatever I say is meaningless. I can't be bothered to waste the effort, said Long Chen indifferently. Ji Lingxian chuckled. Long Chen was actually angry? Who said I didn't believe you? If I didn't trust you, I wouldn't be leaving with you. So then, what are you planning to do next? Next? 
Next, major changes are on the horizon. A ruthless light appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Those disciples of the original devil race could not be allowed to have died for nothing. Chapter 2107 Just what are you planning? Long Chen didn't want to go to the Martial Heaven Alliance, but Yi Lingxin refused to let him off, saying something about even if she died, she would bring him to suffer with her. Hence, Long Chen could only accompany her with Yi's Hikyu. Hu Jin Ying had long since been waiting for them. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that Hu Jin Ying didn't curse him at all. She had a letter in her hand and already knew about what had transpired. Little brat, what are you looking at? Do I need to curse you to make you feel normal? Said Hu Jin Ying irritably upon seeing Long Chen cocking his head and looking around with an odd expression. Long Chen laughed. Actually, this isn't my fault. If I could endure something like that, I wouldn't be Long Chen. Hu Jin Ying nodded and sighed. In truth, in making you go, I was already prepared for certain events. Although your temper and stubbornness are just as annoying as that old bull, at least you have your own charisma. Unlike him, I made you go in hopes that you would stand out amongst those heavenly geniuses. Certain enemies are fated to be enemies. There's no way they'll become allies. But when it comes to some strangers, if you didn't go, they would remain strangers. By going there's a chance of making some friends that can support you in the future. However, why is it that your little bit of charisma is only used to seduce girls? Other than Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu, you barely spoke to anyone else. Hu Jin Ying's expression was odd. Long Chen's direct character should make it quite easy for him to form connections with like-minded people. However, he ended up forming a group with Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. Perhaps Long Chen's charisma only lies in that area. Yi Lingxin covered her mouth and smiled. Don't laugh. You've really disappointed your master this time, said Hu Jin Ying a bit angrily. Master, I, Yi Lingxin was startled. She hadn't made any mistakes, or so she thought. Seeing her appearance, Hu Jin Ying sighed. Lingxin, did I tell you before going to be humble and take the long view for the big picture? Yes. I acted according to your instructions. I didn't have any conflicts with anyone, said Yi Lingxin. That's precisely what disappointed me. Lingxin, you are the one who will control the Martial Heaven Alliance. The authority to make decisions lies with you. Why do you have to always listen to others? Who said that everything I say is correct? You didn't understand that when I said to keep the big picture in mind and be humble, there was a limit. If others press you beyond that limit, you have to stop them there, even if you have to fight to the death. Ah, you're just too obedient. Obedient children don't suffer from their willfulness, but without their own opinions, they become blind. If you act like this, how am I supposed to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance to you? Hu Jin Ying sighed. You're too obedient, while Long Chen is too disobedient. I had both of you go not just because I wanted you to look after Long Chen but to also see Long Chen's style of handling things. Be humble when you should be humble, and be domineering when you should be domineering. If you have to, then you can slap whoever you want in the face. Otherwise, how will you let the Martial Heaven Alliance? Master, disciple knows her error Yi Lingxin lowered her head. She hadn't understood what her master had wanted from her. This can't be blamed on you. You bloomed within a crevice in the cultivation world. Avoiding calamity is your instinct. Just remember, you are the successor to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Your actions represent the Martial Heaven Alliance. There are countless sects and experts supporting you. You cannot lower your own prestige just to avoid some trouble. Hu Jin Ying patted Yi Lingxin on the head gently. Yes, I'll remember this. Yi Lingxin nodded. Good. Brings Hikyu for a stroll. I have some things to talk to Long Chen about. Yi's Hikyu and Yi Lingxin left, leaving just Long Chen and Hu Jin Ying. Alliance head, did you make me stay behind to scold me alone? It's a standard practice to give a slap after the candy. Would any standard practice work on you? And when have I ever used such a thing on you? Said Hu Jin Ying irritably. She then smiled. It was a good thing you went to that gathering. You not only obtained that precious furnace, but you also pulled in two powerful helpers. However. I also pulled in some enemies. Long Chen's lip curled. That's very normal. Even if you didn't go, with your character, those people would have become your enemies anyway. 
But by going, you at least made two allies. That's the difference. As long as you can maintain those friendships, your position on the Martial Heaven continent will remain stable. Of course, if you can continue to the next step with them. Here, even Kujin Ying felt it was funny. Just how was it that a troublesome fellow like Long Chen had so many women after him? It was truly curious. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu's families had many conflicts throughout history. Although it wasn't to the point that they were like fire and water, they definitely didn't get along. It was said that Bidang Rushuang had been demanding to fight Nangong Zuiyu for a long time now. However, the two of them had both sat with Long Chen amicably. Long Chen shook his head. I won't rely on other people's power or suck up to get asylum. That's against my martial Dao. You're just as stubborn as that old man, said Ku Jinying. Let's not talk about me. What about the old man? How is he? Long Chen changed the subject. That old bastard's gone crazy. He just attempted a breakthrough to the third step of Nether Passage, and he actually succeeded. He immediately flaunted himself in front of me for a while before being told to scram snorted Kujinying. Although she put on a disdainful tone, her voice also contained some pride. That's really crazy. Long Chen was startled. How was it that the old man was cultivating so fast? Even if the great era had come, the heavenly deos focused on the junior generation. The senior generation wasn't blessed by the heavenly deos. The nether passage realm doesn't rely on talent, but on comprehension of life and death. Perhaps his head's just so simple that he can just charge through life and death, said Ku Jin Ying helplessly. She had long since stepped into the nether passage realm and watched the old man struggle for many years. Who would have thought that with one breakthrough, he would suddenly soar to the point that he threw her behind him. The nether passage realm tested a person's understanding of the cycle of life and death. If you understood, then you understood. If you didn't, then you didn't. There was no way to force it. Thinking back to the old man's pleased expression when he had swaggered over to show off in front of her, she couldn't help finding it funny. Long Chen, you almost stripped Zhao Wuji and took one of Shai Lingfeng's eyes. I'm familiar with both powers that they're from. The mechanism sect is filled with petty little people. They're insidious and scheming, so there's no chance they'll leave matters as they are. Furthermore, their reputation is garbage, and they have no allies. That's why it's strange that Shai Lingfeng would help Zhao Wuji. There's no way that the Mechanism sect will attack the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. But I am worried that they might attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. The Mechanism sect's reputation always preceded them. They were never reasonable. Launching sneak attacks from behind was their specialty. If they couldn't find Long Chen, they would target the people close to him. The closest people they could target were the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Although everyone knew that Long Chen's parents were in the Wine God Palace, no one would dare to touch the Wine God Palace. Do you want to make some arrangements? asked Ku Jinying. For now, there's no need. The Zhuanshan Dao sect will definitely be fine. As for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, I'll make my own arrangements. The only thing I want to ask you is if the mechanism sect is destroyed. What kind of reaction will there be on the continent? How could that happen? I'm just asking. And the stone race too. If they're destroyed, will that affect the continent? Asked Long Chen. Ku Jin Ying thought about it for a moment. The mechanism sect is a nest of rats. If they were destroyed, the world would only rejoice. As for the stone race, they rarely have any contact with other races. Their arrogance drives people away from them. They have no allies then everything will be fine. My anger from this gathering has some good targets to be unleashed upon. Just what are you planning? The mechanism sect is hated but still managed to survive for so long. Don't underestimate them. Warned Ku Jin Ying. Long Chen's smile made her think that he was about to do something very dangerous again. He, it's nothing. I'm sure you still have work to do. So I'll take a trip to the heaven splitting battle sect I need to ask for some help from the old man. I'm sure that old man will be very interested. Haha. <laughs> Long Chen left. Leaving behind a shocked Ku Jin Ying. Chapter 2108 Preparing to deploy good work. Little fellow. You really did well. After a detailed questioning of what had happened during the gathering. The old man laughed. 
extremely pleased with Long Chen. Boss Bao and the others were also very satisfied. So what if those monsters of the ancient era had returned? So what if they had dominated their generations? They could still be slapped in the face by Long Chen. Bu Ping and Chang Hao, there's still some time until your manifestations fully awaken. You should be able to make it in time for the Qi flow eruption. At that time, we'll share some of that action. HMPH. Do those geniuses think that this is still their era snorted the old man. You're awakening your manifestations so quickly. Long Chen looked at Bao Bu Ping and Chang Hao with shock. Chang Hao and Bao Bu Ping immediately became pleased. They were about to speak when they were smacked in the back of their heads by the old man. Most of the heaven-splitting battle sect's karmic luck was given to the two of you, and you still haven't awakened your manifestations. I'd be embarrassed. Not pleased. Their pleased expressions vanished. Of course they wanted to awaken their manifestations quickly. But everyone did. And it wasn't as easy as just wanting it. Long Chen looked at the two of them and saw some heavenly Daruns had started to condense deep within their eyes. They probably weren't far from awakening. I'll give you two pills that will guarantee to awaken your manifestations within ten days, said Long Chen, handing two cases to the two of them. Long Chen, don't con us. What kind of medicinal pill is so amazing? Bao Bu Ping questioningly opened the case and jumped in shock. After the heavenly Tao energy burst out, Flower runes appeared. That pill had jumped out of the case and struck Bao Bu Ping, making him dizzy. Long Chen reached out and caught the pill before it could flee. Only then did Bao Bu Ping recover. What kind of pill is this? Bao Bu Ping had yet to even hear of an 11th tier medicinal pill, and he had never imagined that a pill could possess such power. A hundred flowers revolved around Long Chen's hand, emitting a brilliant light. In comparison, the old man had more experience. He guessed, this is an 11th tier medicinal pill? Where did you get it? Long Chen smiled. If I said that I refined it myself, would you believe me? I wouldn't the old man shook his head. In this declined era, an 11th tier medicinal pill was already a legend. How could Long Chen refine it himself? This is the 100 flower resonation pill. Find an open place to consume it. The best option would be at the peak of a high mountain. Remember. Take off your clothes and point your five hearts toward the sky. What does that mean? Point your five hearts toward the sky. Asked Bao Bu Ping hastily. It's your head, your palms, and the soles of your feet. The top of your head is where everything gathers. To put it frankly, you just have to strip naked and lie on your back, pointing your limbs at the sky, said Long Chen. The two of them frantically took the pills and ran to use them. Seeing Long Chen actually give away two incomparably precious top grade 11th tier pills to them, Boss Bao and the others were grateful. This was a true family. Boss Bao curiously asked, Why do you have to be naked and take on such a strange posture to consume this pill? Does it help absorb its energy? No, it has nothing to do with the medicinal energy. Long Chen shook his head. Then why did you tell them that? Asked the fourth boss. I've got nothing better to do laughed Long Chen. Everyone suddenly understood. So it was a con. Thinking of the two of them taking on such a strange posture naked on top of a mountain, they knew that such a sight could not be looked at directly. They laughed. Old man, you're really amazing to break through to the third step so quickly. You're the true genius Long Chen suddenly turned to the old man. He was truly powerful. Talented my ass. The only reason I was able to break through was because I'm old and finally managed to put aside many things. Seeing you youngsters growing up finally allows me to relax a bit. I didn't expect this relaxation to result in me touching the next barrier. I just broke through casually, said the old man. Perhaps working and then relaxing is the best way to cultivate. Slacking off every now and then isn't bad either, said Boss Bao. Don't try to make excuses for yourself. You fellows are slacking off every day, not having any feeling of crisis, scolded the old man. Boss Bao was embarrassed. Rather than sucking up, he had sucked himself into a trap. Long Chen smiled. He could understand the old man's feelings. He was currently the only one holding up the heaven-splitting battle sect. There was no one else beneath him capable of carrying that burden. This pressure was immense. Although he said that life and death were up to fate. As the leader of this sect, 
he had to worry about the sect's survival even if he was fearless when it came to his own life. If he fell, it might not be long before the heaven-splitting battle sect faded away. That was the situation he wanted to avoid the most. So the one who was working the hardest within the heaven-splitting battle sect was the old man. Even though he had grown old, he had never given up his efforts to climb to the peak of the martial Dao. In comparison, Boss Bao and the others had the old man looking after them and instead placed more pressure on the talented geniuses below them. Chang Hao and Bao Buping. Old man, I came here today because I have a certain plan I want to carry out. Originally, I would have needed to prepare many more things, but since you've already reached the third step of Nether Passage, I don't think I need to plan out all those things. I can do it directly, said Long Chen. Fine, arrange things how you wish, but I don't need to hear the plan. It'll just give me a headache. Just give me a call when you want me to fight, said the old man, not letting Long Chen explain his plan. All right, then just wait for news from me. We'll do something big. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Long Chen then left the heaven-splitting battle sect, returning to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows. It just so happened that their leader, Kei Yuzhu, was present. Meanwhile, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's disciples were currently exchanging pointers with the dragonblood warriors on a martial stage. Men Chi had allowed them to learn their lost divine abilities within the myriad spirit diagram. Hence, they had awakened all their terrifying divine abilities. The talented youngsters of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race were now almost a match for the dragonblood warriors in a one-against-one -one battle. When Long Chen arrived, there was an 11th-ranked cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow fighting evenly against one of the dragonblood warriors. The dragonblood warriors were all cheering for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. After being here for so long, they had found that although the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows were ancient beasts, their characters were pure. Xiao Yu, work hard. Just a bit more and you can beat him. Long Chen couldn't help calling out. Everyone looked over, surprised and happy to see that Long Chen had returned so quickly. That cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was Xiao Yu, and Long Chen had even given her some pointers before. She was extremely talented. The person she was fighting was a squad leader in the Dragonblood Legion. Their battle was exceptionally intense. Hearing Long Chen's voice, Xiao Yu let out a cloud-piercing, earth-shattering cry. All her feathers raised, and she opened her mouth. A spiral ripple shot out. Boom. The squad leader was instantly blown away. The funny thing was that he was spinning rapidly and unable to stabilize himself. He landed far outside the martial stage. Xiao Yu flew over to Long Chen, transforming into a beautiful maiden midway, and hugged him. She excitedly cried, Big Brother Long Chen, I won. Amazing, amazing. This fellow Zhang Kun has definitely been slacking while I wasn't here. Didn't we agree not to use this move? The squad leader Zhang Kun was a dark faced fellow. He grumbled helplessly. This technique was one of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's ancient divine abilities. It was a terrifying killing technique and was usually accompanied by black swords of light. Despite having held back the killing aspect of this move, it was still capable of twisting space chaotically. It could be activated in just an instant and covered a wide area. Once caught inside, the spatial disorientation would make a person dizzy. The two of them were just competing, not fighting to the death. There were many divine abilities that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows couldn't use in such a competition. The dragonblood warriors also couldn't bring out their true abilities. After all, their techniques were forged in battles to the death. Their specialty lay in killing, not fighting. Long Chen, why are you back so soon? Were you expelled midway? Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er came flying over, delighted. It was Tang Wan'er joking at his expense. You once more guessed it right, said Long Chen speechlessly. Really? You were actually expelled Tang Wan'er was also surprised. Let's talk about it later. It just so happens that we have to discuss something with you. Race leader Yuzhu, Long Chen gathered the Dragonblood warriors as well as the higher-ups of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. He gave a simple explanation of what had happened during the gathering. The Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race is very despicable. 
After losing their own inheritance, they blamed others. Seeing how strong we were, they colluded with the Kunpen race to persecute us, making us fall from standing at the top of the Xuan beasts to being hunted down for countless years. This enmity must be avenged, said one of the elders of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. There was clearly an irreconcilable enmity between the two races. The Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race will have to be left off for now. There's something much more pressing that we have to do. Long Chen turned to Xia Chen. If you used all our resources to create a trap, just how powerful would it be? Chapter 2109 Burning the Boats Boss You want to spend all the money we currently have? But the armor for the Dragonblood Legion. Xia Chen was startled by what Long Chen was asking. He and Guo Ran were currently designing the best possible armor for the Dragonblood Warriors. If they spent all their money on a trap, then the matter of the armor would be run aground. Furthermore, before leaving, Long Chen had said to prioritize this armor over everything else. Changing plans like this was not Long Chen's style. Something unexpected happened, and the armor can be postponed. There's something more important for us to do. If things work out, then we won't need to be worried about not being able to finish the armor, said Long Chen. Xia Chen thought about it for a moment. Then the power of any formation I make will depend on what you need. Is it a trapping formation or a killing formation? How big does it have to be? Where does it need to be installed? Well, if I were to give a rough estimate of how strong a formation built from all the resources we have on hand would be, to tell the truth, its power would be terrifying. I feel like trapping a fourth step nether passage expert would even be possible. A fourth step nether passage expert? K. Yushu and the others gasped. Could Xia Chen really make such a terrifying formation? Xia Chen had never seen a fourth step nether passage expert fight. He could only estimate their power based on multiplying the power of a third step nether passage expert by 10. He said that it was only a possibility. But this was enough to give a general picture of how strong such a formation would be. After all, Long Chen had plundered a lot of money from the Brahma secret realm. Xia Chen and Guo Ran had spent that money on materials for the armor. But those materials could be used for formations as well. If they were all used, then it would be a truly amazing formation. But after the formation was set up, they would be out of resources and money. Guo Ran, don't be distressed. After following me for so long, when have I ever suffered a loss when it comes to business? We'll definitely get back 10 times what we invest in. Even if you can't build your armor for now, I can lend you something good. Long Chen gave him a mysterious smile. Is it the same as last time? Guo Ran's eyes brightened. Last time, Long Chen had killed some disciples of the Mechanism sect and sent him some good stuff. Although the Mechanism sect's people were garbage. The things they made were top grade amongst top grade. After all, those were what they used to survive. They worked on them until they were perfect. Despite most of what Long Chen had sent back being broken pieces, Guo Ran was infatuated with them. He had been obsessed, going over their minute and marvelous mechanisms. Here, Long Chen tossed a pile of gleaming scales to Guo Ran. Intense heavenly Tao energy fluctuations came from them, startling everyone. Heavenly Dao Spirit Silver? Am I dreaming? Guo Ran yelped. Eh, hey, why is there blood? What monster grows Heavenly Dao Spirit Silver on them? Seeing the blood and pieces of flesh stuck to the undersides of the scales, Guo Ran was dumbfounded. This is something I ripped off a certain fellow. Just like you, he created a scale armor for himself. However, he merged his armor with his flesh. I had no choice but to rip it all off, said Long Chen. K. Yushu and the others felt a chill. This was actually a person's skin, and based on the fluctuations, that person had to be an Empyrean. Whoever possessed enough of the legendary Heavenly Tao Spirit Silver to make a whole set of armor out of it must be one of those supreme geniuses of the ancient era. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wanner were amazed, but they also found it funny. Originally, they had thought that Long Chen would have to have some restraint when facing these supreme geniuses, but it was actually the opposite. Meng Chi pulled Yi's Hikiu over. Speaking spiritually, she asked her about Long Chen. Yi's Hikiu explained how she had come to see Long Chen and everything that had happened afterward. Boss, you really are my best boss. 
This heavenly Dao spirit silver is a priceless treasure. If I add it to the dragon blood warrior's armor, all their power should rise a level, exclaimed Guo Ran. That appearance of his made it look like he was about to kiss Long Chen. If you want to use it for armor, leave it for yourself. The others don't need it. Long Chen solemnly shook his head. What? Why? Cultivation is cultivation. Armor and weapons are still external power in the end. Unless you can be like Yu Zifeng who has abandoned everything but the sword. It's best not to grow dependent on external power. You are a bit like Yu Zifeng. Zifeng has his sword. While you have your forging arts and endless creative ideas. The others walk a different path. For example. Consider the original owner of this armor. He thought that a single set of armor could make him unrivaled. Now that he's been defeated. His Dao heart has taken a destructive blow. His cultivation path has definitely ended. Said Long Chen solemnly. Hearing this. The dragon blood warriors hearts shook. They had been excited about some even stronger armor. But they suddenly found that their dependence on that armor was growing greater and greater. What would happen if they one day lost that armor? Would they lack the confidence to fight on their own? Would they even have the courage to fight with their lives on the line? Thinking of that, Gu Yang and the others began to sweat. The path of cultivation was full of holes. Fortunately, they had Long Chen who was able to retain a calm mind and managed to lead them away from those holes. These pieces of scaled armor are just some broken toys. This is the real gift I've brought for you. Long Chen took out the god extermination cannon. A harsh aura came out of it, making the people near it stand on edge. This is the god extermination cannon. Supposedly, it is the mechanism sect supreme treasure. This thing's quite powerful. I almost lost my little life to it. If you can take it apart and figure out how to replicate it, you would be the number one offensive force within the Dragonblood Legion. Even I would concede my place, said Long Chen. He still remembered the attack from the god extermination cannon clearly. Just the recoil had blown him back. If he had known how to use it, then Zhao Wuji's little life would have been lost a thousand times over. It was truly a terrifying killing item. Other than that, I've also got a photographic jade of Zhao Wuji's fighting style. I probed his various offensive and defensive mechanisms. I used my own blood to get it. So work hard on studying it, said Long Chen. Boss, you really treat me well. If I was a woman, I'd definitely repay you with my heart and body. Guo Ran was so grateful that his eyes reddened. That's all right. That only works for good-looking people. For someone like you, it would be like biting the hand that feeds it, said Long Chen, drawing out laughter. Guo Ran slipped away after obtaining the god extermination cannon. He didn't want to waste a single second. He immediately got to studying it. As for Xia Chen, he was also getting itchy. The complete divine runes on the god extermination cannon were extremely attractive to him. However, Long Chen hadn't finished with him here yet. So Xia Chen endured. Race Leader K. Choose 500 of your strongest experts in preparation for a battle, said Long Chen. Just 500? Isn't that a bit too few? Asked K. Yuzhu, with the help of the Myriad Spirit Diagram. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's lost inheritance had been regained. Regaining their divine abilities and inheritance had also caused their bloodline, which had been declining, to show signs of returning to its ancestral state. The current cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows were now far more powerful than before, let alone 500 experts. They could even take out 50,000 experts, all of whom were incredibly powerful. 500 is enough. This isn't a siege, so we don't need too many people, but these 500 people must be experts capable of cooperating, said Long Chen. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's divine abilities could have their power increased by working together, but if there were too many of them, it would make the attack chaotic and dispersed. All right, I'll pick out 500 of our strongest experts. K. Yushu nodded. Long Chen turned to Gu Yang. Call out the dragon blood warriors that are still in seclusion. We need to prepare for an upcoming battle. Unlike other times, we need to drill some formations. As for what kinds of formations, I'll tell you later. Gu Yang nodded and left for the dragon blood legion's territory. Xia Chen, I'll tell you my general plan. You tell me what kind of formations you can arrange. 
Long Chen and Xia Chen spent six hours before finalizing the plan. After that, the Dragonblood Warriors and the experts of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race began drilling their formations. Xia Chen was busy setting up formations, while Guo Ran was lost in the study of the God Extermination Cannon and the Scaled Armor, as well as the photographic jade that Long Chen had brought. It could be said that he was so infatuated with these things that he forgot about food and sleep. Long Chen was also busy. He, Meng Qi, and Chu Yao went into seclusion together. The two of them had extremely powerful spiritual strength. He needed their help to refine pills. Meng Qi, you come first. Your spiritual strength is a bit stronger. I'll teach you the steps and crucial points. Long Chen explained some things that were important while refining pills. Meng Qi had previously helped Long Chen refine pills. So she picked things up quickly. She could be a good example for Chu Yao. Long Chen took out the moon and star refining furnace. He already had a large amount of medicinal powders he had previously refined. Taking a deep breath, he took out nine portions of the medicinal powder and put them all in the pill furnace. This time, he wanted to refine a full furnace of hundred flower deresonation pills. Time was pressing and he had to go all out upgrading the Dragonblood Legion. Chapter 2110 Going all out refining pills the pill furnace rumbled. Divine runes appeared on it, and the stars moved around it. A vast aura caused heaven and earth to shake. Meng Qi and Chu Yao both became nervous. Long Chen's seclusion area was at the top of a large mountain. This place was originally the place for the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races disciples to absorb the light of the sun and moon while they cultivated. A large spirit gathering formation had been installed here, and Long Chen was refining here precisely to absorb the energy of heaven and earth for his pills. The two of them had been mentally prepared since Long Chen had deliberately asked for the two of them to help him, but they were still stunned by how intense it was. The energy within the pill furnace made their hair stand on end. That energy had reached an inconceivable level. If it exploded out of control, the three of them might lose their lives. Long Chen's expression was also serious. He was completely focused. While Meng Qi stood behind him and poured her spiritual strength into him, the rumbling intensified, and even the mountain range Long Chen was in was starting to shake. The pressure started to grow. Boom. Finally. The pill furnace shuddered one final time. At that time, Long Chen's spiritual strength burst forth in full force. Condensed the runes flowing across the pill furnace came to a sudden stop. Then all those runes slowly dimmed. The pill furnace returned to its normal appearance. Three long sighs rang out in the air. Only now did Long Chen realize his forehead and back were covered in sweat. This refinement had been gripping. Even Chu Yao had sweaty palms even though she hadn't done anything. She didn't understand alchemy, but from how tense Long Chen was, she could tell just how important this refinement was. Long Chen slowly opened the lid. When the slightest crack appeared, rainbow lights filled the air. How beautiful Chu Yao and Meng Qi let out a cry at the same time. When the lid was fully opened, it was like flowers were blossoming in the air. They looked both real and illusory, but either way, they were incredibly beautiful. It was like they were in a dream. Long Chen looked and nodded. Not bad. He had refined nine pills. But there was one middle grade and two high grade ones. The rest were all top grade hundred flower deresonation pills. Meng Qi and Chu Yao each took one of the pills. Seeing the flower patterns constantly transforming. They were infatuated. Suddenly. A clap of thunder startled them. They looked at the sky. Give them to me. Otherwise. The heavens are going to unleash a lightning tribulation to destroy them. Long Chen put the pills into the primal chaos space. The lightning that had been slowly gathering in the sky lost its target and dispersed. Long Chen called over Li Long to have the six top grade pills undergo pill lightning tribulation to awaken their spirits. And then he prepared the next set of medicinal powders for refinement. This time, it was Chu Yao helping him. While Meng Qi stood guard as she recovered her spiritual strength. Just refining that first furnace of pills had exhausted around 50% of Meng Qi's spiritual strength. And 30% of Long Chen's. Furthermore, this was only after the moon and star refining furnace had received the nourishment of the heavenly spirit water. Allowing it to recover a bit and help in the refinement. Otherwise, 
it would have taken up even more energy. Of course, since that was the first refinement, Long Chen had been especially careful and expended some extra spiritual strength to guarantee a successful refinement. As for the second furnace of pills, with his previous experience, it was much more relaxed. It only took an incense stick's worth of time. This time, there were seven top-grade pills, and the other two also had signs of being top-grade, but they lacked the requisite spirituality. Such pills could not count as top-grade. Things only grew smoother, because the more he refined, the more the moon and star refining furnace memorized this pill formula, making it even easier for Long Chen to refine the pills. He was also using up less spiritual strength. For three days, Long Chen didn't take a break. In the end, he relied entirely on Men Qi and Chu Yao's support as his own spiritual strength was exhausted. During this time, he refined over a thousand hundred flower daresination pills. The three of them were pale as paper, feeling like their heads would split open by the time they took a break. All three of them had completely run out of spiritual strength. They had no other choice but to rest. Men Qi and Chu Ya returned to their rooms to rest, while Long Chen wearily went to Gu Yang, having him distribute the pills and make sure that the squad captains in particular got one. They were to immediately take the pills and start awakening their manifestations. He then went to Xia Chen. Have there been any movements? Not for now. Boss, don't worry, my heaven-peering spirit formation is connected to the Zhuanshan Dao sect side. If there is anything questionable, I'll immediately sense it, said Xia Chen. When they had first set up the ancestral land of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race here, Xia Chen had set up the formations. There were many backups, so there was nothing within a few million miles of this place that could escape his senses. The Zhuanshan Dao sect side was the same. He could keep watch over that side just like he did here. Long Chen had said that if Zhao Wuji were to make a move, he would definitely choose one of them. The chances of a simultaneous attack were very low. Long Chen nodded. Good. They're probably still in the midst of planning. I feel like their chances of attacking here are the highest. When they do attack, it will be a thunderous attack. Have you finished setting things up? Everything's finished and all kinds of preparations have been made. To tell the truth, spending all this money was truly distressing, said Xia Chen. All those resources had been spent on creating an absolutely supreme formation. That formation could only be used once before it crumbled. Xia Chen had never thought about being this extravagant. Don't worry, we'll get back at least ten times our investment. I'll leave this side to you. Don't relax. I need to go rest, said Long Chen. Go. I'll keep watch here. There are many preparations set up. Even if the enemies come charging in with a giant army. I can hold them all by myself for a while. Xia Chen was confident in his formations. Long Chen nodded and left. He had wanted to go see Guo Ran as well, but he was too exhausted. He went into his room and instantly fell fast asleep. It was a sweet sleep, with some beautiful dreams. He dreamed himself married to a huge line of brides. That line stretched back several hundred miles. Every one of them was dressed in an imperial dress having a red veil covering their faces. Long Chen delightedly ran over to take off those veils. However, when he pulled off the first veil, it revealed a toad-like stone face smiling menacingly at him. Long Chen instantly woke from his dream. Sitting up, he found that Men Qi and Chu Yao had been sleeping beside him and were startled awake now. They hastily asked what was going on. Zhao Wuji has come. Xia Chen hasn't set off the alarm yet. How can you tell? asked Meng Chi. When we fought, I slipped a drop of my essence blood into his body. When he is close to me or feels intense killing intent for me, I will sense it. Long Chen slowly got out of bed. When the two of them had fought, blood had been spraying everywhere. It would have been difficult for Zhao Wuji to sense a single drop entering his body. Even if he had sensed it, he would have simply assumed it was from the blood flying everywhere. He would have simply expelled it from his body without a care. But even then, Long Chen's mark would have been left on his body. Zhao Wuji might be a powerful opponent, but all his power lay in external forces. On his own, he wasn't so powerful, and his spiritual perception wasn't very great. With Long Chen's ability to sense him plus Xia Chen's formations, 
Long Chen was confident in catching him. Are we going out to fight? Asked Chu Yao. It's not so exaggerated. This feeling is still rather vague. He should still be very far away. I would guess that he has just come out of the mechanism sect's minor world. I didn't sense him before because he was recuperating in there. Now he's come out. But there should still be some time before he makes his move. He first has to confirm my position. How are the two of you? Have you recovered? Long Chen looked at the two of them worriedly. He had tired them out badly with the refining this time. My spiritual strength has recovered between 70 to 80 percent. It shouldn't be the problem. You're the one I'm worried about, said Meng Chi, straightening Long Chen's robes. I can do it myself. When Chu Yao took out a washcloth to clean his mouth, Long Chen reached out, but Chu Yao caught his hand and warmly wiped his face. Long Chen still had some sweat from the nightmare. As Chu Yao and Meng Chi freshened him up, Chu Yao also took out a new set of black robes. Most of Long Chen's clothes were personally made by Chu Yao. As Long Chen's status elevated, the materials for his robes also grew more extravagant. They were more difficult to damage as well. Seeing the needlework that had gone into these new robes, Long Chen was emotional. Trust me, once I stand at the top, I'll go into seclusion in the mountains with you. We can distance ourselves from this clamorous world and create a peaceful place where we can live freely and happily, swore Long Chen. Meng Chi and Chu Yao both knew that Long Chen was referring to when he had wiped away all his enmities and solved the mystery of his origins. There was still a long path to walk. They only smiled sweetly at him without replying. They felt happy just being able to accompany him, whether it was standing at the top of the world or retreating to the countryside. As long as Long Chen was happy, they were happy. Meng Chi, let me give you a gift. Long Chen took out the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. Chapter 2111 Attack As soon as Long Chen took out the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill, Meng Chi felt spiritual fluctuations as vast as a sea. Even more shocking was that these spiritual fluctuations were coming from the pill. It was like it was alive. As she examined it, the Nine Lout Soul Condensing Pill also examined her with its spiritual strength. Long Chen gently rubbed the pill. Don't be afraid. She'll treat you very well. She's going to be your master in the future. Long Chen had to comfort the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill because it actually didn't want to part with him. It was only after he comforted it that it jumped into Meng Qi's hand. It was like a baby, curious about the rest of the world but also afraid of it. After all, its spirit had only been awakened before that powerful lightning tribulation appeared to destroy it. So other than Long Chen, everything else was foreign to it. Meng Qi immediately washed the pill with her spiritual strength to placate it. She slowly formed a connection with it, wanting to gradually gain its trust. Only then did she place it in her spiritual space. Once it was within her spiritual space, lotus images began to appear on her body. The Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill was cultivating within her spiritual space. As it cultivated, it immensely benefited Meng Chi. Even without her cultivating, her spiritual strength was continuously growing thanks to it. It was like this pill had been made for her. Long Chen was not a celestial or empyrean. The heavenly deos even rejected him. So the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill had much greater trouble cultivating in his spiritual space. In Meng Qi's spiritual space, it was like a fish in water, using Meng Qi's spiritual space to absorb the energy of heaven and earth to nourish itself, while also nourishing Meng Qi's soul. Meng Qi grew more and more delighted as she felt how the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill helped her. It had to be twice as effective as when she cultivated herself. In other words, even without cultivating, her spiritual strength would be growing. If she did work with the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill to cultivate, then the effect would be even stronger. Thank you. The always steady Meng Chi excitedly hugged Long Chen and took the initiative to kiss him. That was a rare blessing. Before Long Chen could even carefully feel this experience, a tablet hanging on his waist began to flash. Something's happened. Quick, let's go take a look. Long Chen hastily rushed away with Meng Chi and Chu Yao. They went toward the central mountain. In an underground hall, there were 360 stone pillars with divine runes flowing on top of them. Xia Chen was sitting at the center of the hall. 
There were so many runes moving on the ground that a normal person would immediately get dizzy just by looking at them. As for Xia Chen, he was closely examining those constantly changing runes. Long Chen, Meng Qi, and Chu Yao were unable to understand the runes. Have you found our target? asked Long Chen. Yes. Today, three people have stealthily approached the Zhuanshan Dao sect before silently leaving, said Xia Chen. Do you know who they were? asked Long Chen. The runes are underground, and they can only sense their general tracks. If you want to, I can activate the runes to see above ground, but that will make them easier to sense. The mechanism sect is also skilled in various runes, so I haven't done such a thing. Although I didn't get a look, they found the best vantage point outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect's grand formation. So they definitely didn't come with good intentions. Xia Chen's talent in formations was amazing. Just through a single ancient tome he had found, he had come up with countless formations of his own. He came up with marvelous twists and turns to create unique formations. For example, those underground runes he had set up to keep watch were based on a formation from the ancient era. Even a formation master wouldn't be able to sense them. Long Chen sank into thought. They're probably the only ones capable of peeping on the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Although he also had enmities with others like the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, and the Xuan Beasts, he was sure that they wouldn't make a move at this time. When Long Chen had fought Zhao Wuji, he had seen that Tian Zizi and Kun Pengzi were just watching. They had had no intention of joining in. It wasn't like they didn't have a chance or an excuse to. It was that they didn't want to make a move rashly. There had been so many supreme geniuses present, and exposing their trump cards in front of them would only benefit others while harming themselves. Without absolute assurance, they wouldn't make a move. If they had been able to endure back then, then there was even less chance of them attacking him now. What they needed to do now was sit to the side as they watched others fight. Why would they first spy on the Zhuanshan Dao sect and not this place? Asked Meng Qi. Long Chen had already publicly left the Zhuanshan Dao sect if others were to attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Wouldn't that be a provocation of the Martial Heaven Alliance? Even if it was just a probe, they should have probed this place first. It was odd. They've appeared again. Xia Chen suddenly whispered. Long Chen hastily looked at the runes changing on the ground. This time, he saw three runes in particular slowly moving, while the other runes only blinked. This time. There are three waves of people. They're moving directly to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's formation. A. Curious. After touching the restrictions, they use a formation disc to run. What's going on? Are they trying to scare us? Wondered Xia Chen. It's a feint. Long Chen slowly sneered. The Zhuanshan Dao sect has entered a high alert state. Should we send them a message? Asked Xia Chen. No need. These people have no reason to attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect this is entirely to bait me to go over there to help. And then they'll attack boss. There's movements on our side as well. There are many people. Xia Chen pointed to one region. Countless marks were slowly moving there like trickling sand. Around 300 miles from the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races territory. They came to a halt. HMPH. They want to establish an illusion formation? Interesting, sneered Xia Chen. These newcomers actually thought that they were being very covert. How many people are there? Asked Long Chen. Around 10,000, but every one of them is a powerful expert. Those dark red runes indicate that they have reached the Nether Passage realm. There are at least 3,000 Nether Passage experts, said Xia Chen. He was starting to grow excited. He hadn't fought in such a large-scale battle before. I guess there are more than that. There are some people that you can't sense even with a formation, warned Long Chen. That was because the stone race was a curious existence, and their auras were very strange. Xia Chen's formation might be able to sense ordinary life forms, but the stone race might be able to slip through. Boss, don't worry, this time I'll let you see just how powerful a formation master is. He, of course, the strongest is your money, laughed Xia Chen. How long do you estimate before they attack? Asked Long Chen. After all, Xia Chen was a formation master and should have some predictions. At the earliest, it will come in two days, declared Xia Chen after carefully examining the runes on the ground. 
Why would it take so long? Because they are setting up the best hiding formation. The heaven cheating sea concealing spirit hiding formation. Such a thing takes a long time to set up. But with it, they should be able to easily break through the first three outer layers of protection I've arranged without anyone sensing it. The mechanism sect really has a lot of money, said Shia Chen enviously. Setting up such a formation also required an ocean's worth of resources. Look, they've vanished. Shia Chen suddenly pointed at the runes indicating their existence. Those runes had now vanished, meaning they had concealed themselves. So we can't find them anymore asked Meng Chi. We can't find them now, but that's fine. When they enter the barrier I set up, I'll be able to see them. If they want to stay in their current formation, it will take two to three days for them to move that far covertly. It really was a feint. They scare the Zhuanshan Dao sect to draw everyone's attention there. While they target this place, they don't want to kill me. They want to destroy the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Why would they target the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? Asked Chu Yao. There are most likely two reasons. They are trying to form a good relationship with the Xuan beasts. And perhaps even the Xuan beasts are secretly supporting their attack this time. The other reason is to force me into a passive position. If I did fall for their feint and went to stand guard over the Zhuanshan Dao sect, they would be able to deal a huge blow to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They know that if that happens, I won't wait for them to find me. I'll immediately attack them. I left the Martial Heaven Alliance through a secret transportation formation that the Alliance had let me use. They don't have any news of my whereabouts. All they know is that I went to the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters a few days ago. So they believe I'm most likely there, said Long Chen. How complicated, sighed Chu Yao. Actually, it's not that complicated. They think they understand me, but I understand them better. I do smell the hint of a scheme behind the mechanism sect's actions, but I don't need to care about it. We'll be ruthless this time and make sure to teach these arrogant fellows a lesson, said Long Chen. Xia Chen, I'll leave this place to you. I'm going to see if anyone has awakened their manifestation. Long Chen left with Meng Qi and Chu Yao, leaving behind Xia Chen whose gaze was locked on the changing runes on the ground. Come, this time. I'll use boss's money to smash you to death. Chapter 2112 Dragon Blood Manifestation When Long Chen arrived at the Dragon Blood Legion's seclusion area, he was shocked. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and the others had intense blood chi fluctuations surging out of them. Faint dragon cries could be heard coming from their bodies. There were over a thousand Dragon Blood warriors in the same condition. Just by standing there, it felt like every one of them had a wild dragon roaring within them. You've awakened your manifestations exclaimed Meng Chi. This auras could not be compared to before. We don't know if it counts as awakened or not. Gu Yang scratched his head. If it's awakened then it's awakened. If it's not then it's not. What do you mean you don't know? Asked Chu Yao. Gu Yang's words were incomprehensible. Ah, I can't explain it. Boss, take a look. Gu Yang flexed his arms, and his manifestation burst into existence behind him. A clear dragon roar came from within his manifestation. There was a giant blood dragon coiling within it. When that blood dragon roared, Gu Yang's blood chi erupted in power. Blood-colored dragon scales covered his body as the dragon blood battle armor activated automatically. Furthermore, as his manifestation remained active, small images appeared within the scales. Looking carefully, they were compressed versions of the dragon. Let's test one punch, said Long Chen. Boom. Gu Yang smashed a fist at Long Chen. Long Chen's fist became covered in white dragon scales to block Gu Yang's attack, but the result was that his wrist almost broke. Damn, this power's pretty good, exclaimed Long Chen. Although he hadn't summoned his full power, Gu Yang also hadn't used any magical art that had just been the power of his physical body. He. Boss, this power might be pretty good now, but we still haven't grown accustomed to it. I feel like once we can perfectly control this power, we'll be so strong that we'll frighten even ourselves. Gu Yang excitedly clenched his fists. Were you trying to bait me into embarrassing myself just now? You clearly awakened your manifestation, and yet you still acted like you didn't. 
said Long Chen. Boss, I really don't know if this counts, said Gu Yang. Isn't it said that only one kind of manifestation can appear in the world at a time? Yes, that's common knowledge. Long Chen nodded. Although there were millions and millions of different manifestations within this world, two could not be the same in one era. Each awakened manifestation was unique in this world. Li Qi, you demonstrate for boss, said Gu Yang. Li Qi walked up, with a shout. He also summoned his manifestation. Seeing that, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Long Chen were dumbfounded. How is that possible Li Qi's manifestation was the exact same as Gu Yang's? Down to the smallest fluctuations. Not only that, Ming Guan and the others, show your manifestations to boss. Gu Yang turned to Song Mingguan and the other Dragonblood warriors. As one manifestation was activated after another, Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. All the Dragonblood warriors had the exact same manifestation. So, boss, we really don't know if this counts as awakening our manifestations, said Gu Yang helplessly. Long Chen was dumbfounded for a moment before he laughed. Whether or not you awakened, tell me, do you feel much stronger? Of course, I feel so full of power, and I want to start fighting right now, shouted Gu Yang. The other warriors were the same. Having their strength instantly grow so much made them feel unstoppable. All right, just focus on stabilizing your manifestations. Your auras aren't stable at all. Make sure to stay steady. Long Chen waved his hand. After that, he went to see the other Dragonblood warriors who hadn't awakened their manifestations. They were envious, but Long Chen told them not to be impatient. It would soon be their turn. Long Chen then went to find Yi's Hikyu and Tang Wanur. They were both in seclusion. From a distance, the mountain range that Yi's Hikyu was in was encased in ice and filled with falling snow. At the top of a mountain, Yi's Hikyu was sitting lotus style. She looked like a goddess of ice and snow. Behind her was a giant ice palace. At the top of that ice palace hung a full moon unleashing a sacred light that illuminated the palace. The light made the palace look even grander and more imposing. As for Tang Wanur, she was on a different mountain, surrounded by whirling wind blades. Every one of them left a long cut in the void. The space behind Tang Wanur was unstable as her manifestation wasn't fully awakened yet. It vaguely looked to be a crescent moon. Because of a grand formation, the two of them didn't need to worry about disturbing anyone, but they were both in seclusion. It seems it has nothing to do with the hundred flower da resonation pill. Perhaps it's related to the dragon blood battle armor, said Long Chen. Yi's Hikyu and Tang Wanur's manifestations were both normal. That indicated where the problem lay. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and the others had refined the metal devouring evil dragon's essence blood and Long Chen had transmitted the dragon blood battle armor to them. He hadn't expected the dragon blood body tempering art, which the mysterious expert of the dragon race had imparted to him, to even subvert the heavenly deos themselves. In the past few years, the dragon race expert hadn't made any more contact with him. Although Long Chen had promised to do whatever it asked of him, it had never cashed in on that promise, making him uneasy. Meng Qi, Chu Yao. You should also go into seclusion to awaken your manifestations said Long Chen. The two of them had essentially recovered their spiritual strength. Isn't this a bad time? Lu Ruyan is also at a critical moment and can't help you, said Chu Yao. Lu Ruyan was cultivating in Chu Yao's spiritual space and couldn't be disturbed. If Chu Yao went into seclusion as well, then she wouldn't be able to help during the upcoming battle. Cloud is the same. She's currently awakening some of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's divine abilities in the myriad spirit diagram. If we go into seclusion, while Wanner and Zhikyu don't come out, you won't have any helpers, said Meng Chi. The reason that Long Chen hadn't seen Cloud or Lu Ruyan after returning was because they were both in seclusion. Lu Ruyan was absorbing the final energy left by the yin-yang immortal grass. She was at a critical juncture. Cloud was receiving the ancient divine abilities of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, and that required her to awaken her bloodline power. It was unknown when she would be able to come out. Yi's Hikyu and Tang Wanner were both busy awakening their manifestations now. It was impossible to tell how long it would take. 
If Meng Chi and Chu Yao also went into seclusion, then none of them would be able to help in the battle. That was six of their strongest combatants. You're overestimating the other side while underestimating us. Don't worry, everything is within my control. You can focus on awakening your manifestations. The sooner the better. This battle with the mechanism sect is just the appetizer. The truly dangerous parts will come after, said Long Chen. The two of them couldn't sway Long Chen, so they agreed. They went into seclusion, each taking a hundred flower da resonation pill. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Yi Hikia were all occupying a mountain, cultivating within the grand formation. Seeing those four beauties cultivating, a warm smile appeared on Long Chen's face. They were his greatest support. With them present, his heart would be forever full. Just as Xia Chen said, two days later, the hidden formation that the other side had concealed themselves in began to approach the third layer of defenses of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. The grand protective formation actually wasn't able to sense them. It went without saying that the mechanism sect was truly skilled. They had managed to conceal so many people perfectly. If Xia Chen hadn't created a special formation during this time just for this purpose, perhaps rivers of blood would really flow within the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. During these two days, mysterious experts disturbed the Zhuanshan Dao sect just as Long Chen guessed would happen. Some people even entered the sect before slipping away, causing the Zhuanshan Dao sect to maintain their state of high alert. Long Chen had Xia Chen send a message to Li Shi Yangxuan telling him what was happening and how to cooperate. He was to enter a strict lockdown and beg the Martial Heaven Alliance for reinforcements. Boss, their figures have appeared again. He, their grand formation isn't able to hide in front of me, snickered Xia Chen. The stone pillars behind him unleashed rays of light that coalesced into an image in the air. There was a strange beast within the image. That beast had a dark and blurry mass of experts within its stomach. Their faces were too blurry to see. A portion of them were human, but some of them were particularly large and thick. Long Chen immediately recognized them as being from the stone race. Amazing. Long Chen gave Xia Chen a thumbs up. His formation skills were truly admirable. That beast is a divine item they constructed. Amazing. Even if we walked straight into them, we wouldn't sense it. That divine item will create its own duplicated space so anyone who walks into it will temporarily enter that duplicated space and pass through without sensing anything, said Xia Chen. Long Chen nodded. There was nothing to say about that. The mechanism sect had existed for countless years and had a thick foundation. For them to have some rare treasures was normal. We can close the net. Cut off their path of retreat. I'll bring our brothers over to give them an appetizer. Long Chen patted Xia Chen's shoulder. A wicked smile appeared on his face before he vanished. Chapter 2113 The Dragonblood Legion's Welcoming Ceremony Within a Secluded and Closed Space. There were over 10,000 experts gathered. They saw the outside world through a water like screen of light. The screen of light slowly moved forward, bringing them along as well. Their speed was very slow. This thing's too slow. Why didn't we just directly charge in? Demanded the one-eyed Shai Ling Feng impatiently. It had already been two days, but the battle had yet to start. It was irritating being crowded together like this. Standing beside Shai Ling Feng was Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji had fully recovered, and he was staring menacingly outside. Last time, Long Chen hadn't just defeated Zhao Wuji but also torn off his armor. Ignoring just how grievous a blow that was. He had even lost face in front of the other supreme geniuses he was competing against. That was even more painful than being killed. The mechanism sect hadn't made a move for many days because they had been waiting for Zhao Wuji to recover. Once he had, they gathered all their elites for revenge. The first thing they did was to go find Shai Lingfeng to have him track Long Chen's position. However, they were dumbfounded to find that his stone head didn't know how to think. He hadn't tried to sense Long Chen's position before, and when they found him, he said that he couldn't sense anything. Zhao Wuji had wanted to curse him at that time. If he wasn't able to sense him, then why hadn't he said anything before? Zhao Wuji hastily sent people to investigate Long Chen's whereabouts, but the only information they found was that Long Chen had gone to the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. That was all the information they had. 
when Long Chen had gone to the heaven splitting battle sect and then the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, he had used their secret channels. There was no way Zhao Wuji could find him. After thinking about it, Zhao Wuji had chosen to attack the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. It was his most profitable option. Hence, hearing Shai Ling Feng's grumble, Zhao Wuji had an urge to curse this idiot. However, he had no choice but to console Shai Ling Feng. If we charged right in, they would be alerted. We'd be able to kill many, but some would escape. What we want though is to make sure not even an egg is left unbroken. We'll first destroy their core transportation formation and then cut off their paths of retreat. At that time, there will be nowhere for them to go. We'll slaughter them all. Wouldn't that be better fine? Hopefully, Long Chen's there. I'll rip off his head and take back my eye. Shai Ling Feng's soul eye glittered, making his sinister face even more frightening. Long Chen should be standing guard over the Zhuanshan Dao sect right now. If we're fast enough with our attack, he won't have a chance to react. With the transportation formations broken, everyone will be dead by the time he rushes over. Once he sees the ground covered with corpses, I'm sure his expression will be very marvelous snickered Zhao Wuji. Our mechanism sect hasn't shown itself on the continent for many years, and people seem to have already forgotten how terrifying we are. We'll use this chance to reveal our strength, said one of the mechanism sect's nether passage elders. The mechanism sect's power lay in their convoluted mechanisms. The way they controlled those mechanisms was with their yuan spirits. So even in the mechanism sect, a stable realm was important. The stronger the yuan spirit, the stronger the armor they could wear. HMPH, the mechanism sect has destroyed at least 8,000 sects throughout history. Amongst those sects, some were even stronger than the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, and they were still destroyed in a single night by us. After so many years, the world has forgotten our glory. Destroying the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race should remind them, snorted another expert of the mechanism sect. The stone race is the same. It's time to exercise our muscles. Only blood and corpses will give people the deepest impression, said someone from the stone race. The closer they got to the interior of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's territory, the hungrier they got. They were like bloodthirsty wolves. Even their eyes turned red. Careful. Suddenly, Zhao Wuji let out a shout. The invisible formation came to a stop as a group of people walked by. They are people from the Dragonblood Legion, whispered someone. These Dragonblood warriors had the specific dragon mark of the Dragonblood Legion on their robes. Didn't they go to the Zhuanshan Dao sect? People were confused. Based on their plan, they should have already left for the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Activate the illusion formation directed Zhao Wuji. The experts in charge of the formation caused them to be the very picture of a bamboo forest. There was already a bamboo forest here, so this illusion would make them look like part of it. There was no way anyone would suspect anything. There were over 30 dragonblood warriors in that group, and they seemed lazy and idling. Some of them were even staggering a bit as if they were drunk. I drank too much just now. Wait up, I have to piss, called out one of the warriors. He actually ran over to the bamboo forest. Fuck, what are they doing? Raged Shai Ling Feng. These warriors were right by their bamboo forest. If that person took a piss, it would be like pissing on them. Although the formation isolated them, that feeling would really be just like someone was peeing on their heads. Kill him, shouted Shai Ling Feng. We can't. We're perfectly hidden. Just one more step and we can destroy their transportation formations. Zhao Wuji jumped in fear that Shai Lingfen would break their formation. They had to endure. Restrain yourself for now. Why bother with people who are about to die anyway? Advised someone else. A large stream of piss came splashing down. To them. It was like they were kneeling and someone was peeing on their heads. Fuck. I'll make sure to personally crush all of them. Roared Shai Lingfeng. He had never suffered such humiliation in his life. After peeing, the Dragonblood warrior even made sure to shake. His refreshed and relieved expression was especially infuriating. It had barely ended when another Dragonblood warrior walked over. Now I need to pee too. Ah, we're all brothers. Let's just pee together. The whole group suddenly came over. If Shai Lingfeng had lungs, 
they would have definitely burst from rage. Why didn't boss bring us to the Zhuangshan Dao sect with him? Asked one of the warriors as he pulled down his pants. Didn't boss already say it? It's to prevent that idiot Zhao Wuji from trying any diversionary tactics. Now we're prepared on both sides. That's why we're here guarding the transportation formations. If anything unexpected happens, we can send timely assistance, said another warrior. After hearing that, Zhao Wuji's heart shook slightly. Long Chen had actually prepared for him. Isn't that worrying for nothing? That idiot Zhao Wuji is like a little chicken in front of boss. Boss slaps him around like he pleases. He even skins him if he wants to. Other than crying like a baby, what can Zhao Wuji do? He's not even a worthy opponent. If he really comes, boss will crush him with a fart, said the other warrior disdainfully. Zhao Wuji's whole body shuddered from fury. Every one of that person's words was like poisonous arrows striking his heart. The others behind him also heard them clearly, and countless gazes turned toward him. Zhao Wuji's humiliation was a taboo subject in the mechanism sect, and no one dared to ask around about it. Now that it was all exposed, Zhao Wuji had an urge to chop them into mincemeat. So let's just drink and eat. With the grand formation protecting this place, would that Zhao something chicken dare to come? Said another warrior. He seemed to have drunk too much. It's Zhao Wuji. Yeah, Zhao Wuji. Just look at his name. You know he's garbage. Ha ha ha. Laughed the warrior. Courting death. Zhao Wuji clenched his teeth furiously. His eyes about to spurt flames. After peeing, the dragon blood warriors pulled up their pants and prepared to leave. The experts hiding were trying to calm Zhao Wuji down. If he couldn't endure, then all their efforts would have been useless. Hold it, said one of the dragon blood warriors suddenly. What is it? Something's off. That warrior's gaze burned into the bamboo forest. The experts inside the formation stiffened. Had they been noticed what's wrong? My stomach feels off. I think I ate something bad. I need to poop. Can one of you help guard me? I'll be quick. That warrior held his stomach. The experts inside the formation almost coughed up blood. This was the number one legion of the continent? If he pooped here, it would really feel like someone was pooping on their heads. All of them were enraged. There was no way they could endure this. Ah, it's not safe here. What if someone sees? That would hurt my reputation. Let's finish our patrol and get back quickly. I need to use the bathroom. Quick, I can't hold it much longer. Holding his stomach, that warrior left with the others. The experts in hiding sighed with relief. Those bastards had finally left. Young master, don't be angry. The dragon blood legion is a legion of hoodlums. It's actually a good thing that they're here, because we can destroy them along with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. He, without his dragon blood legion, Long Chen will feel much worse than you, said one of the mechanism sect's elders. Keep advancing. We'll first destroy their transportation formations. I'm going to make sure not one of them lives, said Zhao Wuji hatefully his eyes full of icy killing intent. Chapter 2114 Shia Chen's Methods Ha ha ha. Long Chen and the other dragon blood warriors in the underground hall were laughing heartily at the performance of the group of warriors sent above ground. I bet Zhao Wuji's current expression is very marvelous. It's too bad we can't see it. Sighed Shia Chen. Shia Chen's formation was only able to sense a group of vague figures. He couldn't hear them. But that was already heaven defying as the mechanism sect was extremely skilled in runes. Their grand concealing formation was a work of art. Due to how skilled they were in this regard, they didn't even suspect that Xia Chen had noticed them. Continue according to the plan. Long Chen smiled. The mechanism sect's hidden formation slowly pushed forward. They were getting closer and closer to the core of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races ancestral land. It's strange. Why haven't we seen anyone this entire time? Wondered someone. We already heard them say that Long Chen is prepared for an assault here. They've entered a battle-ready state. So people are hiding. Answered someone else. Zhao Wuji sneered. It doesn't matter where they're hiding. Once their transportation formations are broken, we'll immediately cast our net. Completely sealing this area. Not one person will get away. I've actually changed plans. Let's capture as many of them alive as possible, especially those dragon blood warriors. 
I'll make sure to send Long Chen one head per day until he goes crazy. Stop. Another wave of them. Suddenly, they saw another patrol of Dragonblood warriors walk by their formation. They had no choice but to stop until they had passed before continuing. However, they were a bit surprised to find that the patrols of Dragonblood warriors were growing more numerous. They were frequently forced to stop. To be absolutely safe, they would only advance once the Dragonblood warriors had passed. Sometimes those Dragonblood warriors would suddenly stop and chat for a while, forcing them to wait. Curious, why haven't we reached the core region even after so long? One of the stone race's experts couldn't hold himself back. The core region clearly didn't look far, but even after several hours, they hadn't reached it. One of the mechanism sect's experts explained, this is an important region. They probably have a formation to make this space bigger than it appears. So it looks close but we are still far. One hour, two hours, three hours. After ten hours, the core region was still so close yet so far. Even the mechanism sect's experts were growing uneasy. Even if there was a formation here, they would have reached the core after so long. There was no way that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's ancestral land was this big. No, we've been caught. One of the experts controlling the mechanism suddenly shouted. What is it? Demanded Zhao Wuji. We've entered someone else's illusion formation. The formation master suddenly formed hand seals causing the formation to transform. The surrounding space rippled. The buildings and land they saw around them vanished like they were nothing more than a reflection. Now they were surrounded by mist. Everyone was shocked, not knowing what was going on. Before they could figure it out, a voice rang out. Zhao Wuji, Shai Ling Feng, I've been waiting for a long time. How is it? Was playing hide and seek fun. Long Chen. Zhao Wuji and Shai Lingfeng instantly recognized that voice, but Long Chen's voice was coming from every direction. They couldn't pinpoint where he was. Hurry up and destroy their formation shouted Zhao Wuji. He was getting a bad feeling. The lead formation master immediately took out over a hundred formation discs. After forming a strange image, over a hundred rays of light soared out of the formation discs, piercing into the sky. Boom. The surrounding mist didn't budge. Instead, the formation discs exploded. The formation master suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. His formation had been destroyed before he even finished setting it up. Clearly, every one of his movements was within the expectations of the other side. Suddenly, a giant ray of sword light pierced toward them. Attack! shouted Zhao Wuji. Blood-colored armor appeared on his body. It was actually a different set of armor than he had worn before. Boom! Zhao Wuji was the first to attack, smashing a fist into the sword light. However, he was startled to find that the sword light contained no power behind it. It exploded as soon as he touched it. Be careful. The formation master's expression suddenly changed. He hastily formed hand seals, summoning a barrier of light. However, he was still too late. That barrier of light hadn't even fully formed before the scattered sword light fell around them like rain. Every drop was followed by an explosion, and waves of light devoured their formation. Fuck. These are dark yin eroding runes. Several of the mechanism sect's experts began to cry. This light didn't possess any offensive power, but their armor was being turned black by it. It was like some kind of paste was stuck to their armor, covering the runes on them. The power of their armor began to sharply drop. They could no longer move easily within their armor. As a result, they were stuck clumsily lumbering around. It was like they were encased in mud and unable to shrug it off. Only Zhao Wuji and a few high-level elders weren't too badly affected due to their higher grade armor. Break. The main formation master let out a roar. Using some unknown method, countless runes whirled around, and a powerful ripple spread out of him. The void exploded and the dust disappeared, clearing their vision. At this moment, they suddenly found that they weren't in the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's ancestral land, but on top of a lake. Boom. The lake beneath them exploded, covering them in the lake water. Bastards. I'll kill them all, roared Shai Ling Feng. The stone race hated water because the crystals all over their bodies would get contaminated by the water. The dirtier the water, the worse the contamination. It would take a long time to cleanse the contamination. The feeling of it was like someone obsessed with cleanliness being covered in filth. 
Back during the gathering, Shai Lingfeng had flown into a rage just because an attendant had poured tea for him. He had sent her flying and cursed her, precisely due to the stone race's taboo relationship with water. We've been targeted from the paste stuck to the mechanism sect's armor to the stone race being enveloped in water. It was clear that things had been arranged just for them. Zhao Wuji grew alarmed. Suddenly, the void split open, revealing a giant stone platform. There were golden runes sparkling on the platform with a cold and brilliant light. I heard that the mechanism sect's formation skills are closely linked to their mechanism arts. This little one, Xia Chen, hopes to experience your guidance. Following Xia Chen's voice, golden rays of light flew out of the platform and linked, forming a random net that enveloped them all. Be careful of that light, shouted the formation master. One of the mechanism sect's experts had their head pierced by it. That seemingly unremarkable and haphazard light was able to ignore their armor and kill them. One expert after another was pierced by the rays of light. Their armor was like mud in front of it, and they were cut down one by one. Don't touch the tip of that light, shouted Zhao Wuji. He had noticed the problem. These lights were actually needles with the thickness of a pinky finger. He could barely make out that those needles were covered in runes. The needles possessed terrifying penetrative power. The ordinary armor of the mechanism sect's disciples was unable to stop them. Sparks flew as Shai Lingfeng's fist smashed into one of the needles. That needle was smashed to smithereens. His body was even tougher than the armor of the mechanism sect. Long Chen, get out here and fight, roared Shai Lingfeng. If you want to exchange blows with my boss, you'll have to get past my level first. Xia Chen's voice rang out once more. The stone platform itself exploded unleashing giant swords of golden light. The golden swords cut the void into pieces. It was like the world was crumbling around them, and the very restrictions of the heavenly deos were torn to bits. The terrifying golden swords annihilated the disciples of the mechanism sect they were blown apart along with their armor. Boom. One of the golden swords slashed onto Shai Lingfeng's body. Shai Lingfeng was actually sent flying, and two white wounds appeared on his arms where it had struck him. However, those wounds quickly healed. Shai Lingfeng's body was extremely tough, but the disciples of the mechanism sect weren't so fortunate. With the runes on their armor having lost effect, their defense and speed had sharply dropped. The flying swords cut down a couple of them. However, these golden swords were one-use items. After a sword shot out, it lost all its power. It was just that this one blow of it was extremely shocking. Over ten of the stone race's experts were also blown to bits. The fortunate survivors only had their limbs cut off, but they were able to reconnect them as if it wasn't a serious injury. It was said that the stone race only had one vital spot, which was their head. As long as their head still existed, any damage to their body could be healed. But if the head exploded, their body would explode as well. Boss, my show is over. I'm very regretful to say that I wasn't able to exterminate them all. After this wave of attacks, Xia Chen and Long Chen's figures appeared in the sky. Xia Chen looked both excited and helpless. Long Chen, upon seeing Long Chen, Shai Lingfeng and Zhao Wuji's killing intent erupted. Chapter 2115 Cloud Chasing Divine Ability All they saw was Long Chen and Xia Chen standing in the sky as if they were spectators looking at a wondrous sight. You've already done very well. You've let me see just how terrifying a formation master is. Don't worry, you'll definitely have more chances to perform. Long Chen patted Xia Chen's shoulder. Xia Chen had started his ploy as soon as Zhao Wuji got close. Long Chen had first drawn them into the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races territory. As soon as they reached the core, the dragon blood warriors put on a show. That was their display of peeing on Zhao Wuji's formation. It was on Xia Chen's orders, and it wasn't intentionally done to humiliate them but simply to draw their attention. That was because once the Dragon Blood Warriors drew their attention, Xia Chen launched a special formation he had prepared just to target their formation. Once the Dragon Blood Warriors had left, the scene that Zhao Wuji and the others had seen became an illusion. Once they set off again, they thought that they were heading toward the core, all the while moving further and further away, until they exited the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's ancestral land. 
Long Chen had truly borne witness to just how amazing Xia Chen was. Even Long Chen hadn't expected things to go so smoothly. Due to how smoothly things were going, Xia Chen changed some of his original plans and formations. He directly got rid of some of the formations he had set up within the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races territory. If they fought inside their territory, it would cause damage. The grand formation protecting this region had been set up by Xia Chen, and he didn't want to cause any damage to it unless he had to. So he decided to draw Zhao Wuji and the others far away, to prevent them from sensing anything. Xia Chen had ordered the Dragonblood warriors to occasionally pass by their formation, making it seem like they were entering an even more tightly guarded region to not draw their suspicion. As a result, it was unknown if they simply had too much confidence in their own formation or if their killing intent had muddled their heads, but they didn't sense anything. By the time they realized that something was off, they had landed within their trap. Xia Chen's formation activated, killing over 3,000 of the mechanism sect's disciples. He also affected their armor, reducing their combat prowess. The stone race's people were also affected by the water that was powered by Xia Chen's formation. Normal water would be automatically repelled by the stone race's protective layer of divine light, but this water had soaked them. It didn't necessarily directly affect their fighting, but it would influence their mental states. Long Chen. Dai. Shai Ling Feng was the first to reach Long Chen. His whole body blazed with light as he attacked. Following him were the infuriated stone race's experts who wanted to surround Long Chen and make sure that he couldn't escape. If someone as ugly as you hasn't died, why would I? Said Long Chen as he watched Shai Ling Feng flying at him. Xia Chen smiled and changed his hand seals. The space behind the two of them split open, and a group of large figures appeared, their giant bodies blocking the sky. An ominous aura caused the sky to shake. It's the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow Shai Ling Feng, whose rage had clouded his mind, suddenly realized something was wrong. Before he could do anything, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's attacks arrived. Each of them was like a mountain. There were 500 of them, and they all opened their mouths at the same time. The runes on top of their feathers lit up, and a powerful and majestic bloodline power connected each of them. All 500 cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows activated the same divine art. Due to their bloodline connection, their auras merged into one. Get out of the way. Shai Ling Feng shouted at his people. The crystals on his body flashed, and he vanished. At this moment, a black ray of light came from the mouth of every cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. With how big their bodies were, the black lights were hundreds of meters across. They merged into one, transforming into one black gigantic sword of light. The black light sword passed straight through the stone race's experts. Everything in front of it was blown apart. This was the strongest divine ability of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, and 500 of them had unleashed it together without holding back at all. Their power even stunned Long Chen. The black sword passed through the stone race and then continued on to the mechanism sect's experts. Anyone who touched it was turned to dust. This attack actually contains an aspect of oblivion. It doesn't matter whether it's stone or armor. Nothing can block it. Long Chen side inside. This combined attack of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was probably no weaker than the attack of the god extermination cannon. Long Chen suddenly felt a bit of regret. If he had known that their divine abilities were so frightening, he would have had them directly attack these invaders within their concealed formation. Perhaps they might have been able to annihilate them all. The reason he hadn't directly attacked the hidden formation was because such a formation had its backups if it was attacked. It had a defensive barrier around it, and even if they could break it in one attack, anyone who wasn't killed would be transported away by one of the safety measures of the formation. As for Xia Chen, he hadn't made a direct move, instead slowly weakening the runes inside the formation, in the end destroying the transportation formation so that they couldn't escape. If he had known that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's attack was so powerful, then perhaps with this oblivion divine ability, they could have directly destroyed the formation's defenses along with its escape safeguard. There would have been a possibility of destroying them all right there and then. Nothing within the path of their attack was left alive. 
there was only a black void. Over a thousand of the stone race's experts had come, but now only 300 remained. That was only because they hadn't been struck by the attack. As for the mechanism sect's people, they were too concentrated, and although the attack only brushed by where they were, it still killed half of them. Die. Shai Ling Feng howled, directly charging at the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows. He had to kill a few of them to avenge his people. Those 500 cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows auras rapidly fell. Long Chen had ordered them to concentrate all their power into one attack, so they naturally hadn't held back anything at all. Boom. A figure suddenly appeared in the air, knocking back Shai Ling Feng with his spear. The Dragon Blood Legion's first captain, Gu Yang. Gu Yang blocked Shai Ling Feng, his blood dragon manifestation present behind him. The dragon roared, causing his blood chi to soar. An ant dares to block me? Die. Shai Ling Feng roared furiously, feeling insulted because he was blocked by one of Long Chen's subordinates. His crystals twinkled like stars, and a terrifying aura rose. The earth cracked and the lake beneath their feet instantly flowed underground. As Shai Ling Feng unleashed his full power, a single punch from him caused the laws of the world to look like they would shatter. This was the power he had taken out when he had fought Long Chen. Boom. Gu Yang blocked with his spear but was still sent flying. He smashed into the ground, causing mud to splatter. Brothers, come help. This fellow's fist is pretty hard. Gu Yang wiped some blood off the corner of his mouth. He really wasn't able to stop Shai Ling Feng by himself. Shai Ling Feng was startled that Gu Yang could get up after this attack. He was just one of Long Chen's subordinates but had actually been able to survive his full strength attack. The earth suddenly exploded and two mud giants appeared. Runes flowed across the giants, causing them to harden until they were like stone. The Dragon Blood Legion's second captain, Li Qi, the Dragon Blood Legion's third captain, Song Mingguan. Here for Quanters, Li Qi and Song Mingguan shouted at the same time, their manifestations appearing behind him. The two earth giants attacked at the same time, and two explosive sounds rang out. Shai Ling Feng punched with both hands, unleashing two giant fist images that forced back the two earth giants. Taste my spear. Gu Yang's spear brought with it a giant spear image that crashed into Shai Ling Feng. Having been forced to hastily switch to handling Gu Yang after repelling the earth giants, Shai Ling Feng was knocked back. He was enraged. Bastards. You're actually earth cultivators. He found that once Li Qi and Song Mingguan appeared, his own earth energy was affected. Although Shai Ling Feng wasn't an Empyrean and had no manifestation, the crystals on his body could be considered a natural manifestation born by the heavens. Those crystals absorbed heavenly Tao energy along with earth energy. However, once Li Qi and Song Mingguan arrived, a portion of his earth energy was stolen by the two of them, and it caused Gu Yang to be able to knock him back. Brothers, let's crush him together, shouted Li Qi, sending his earth giant barreling toward Shai Ling Feng. Song Mingguan often worked together with him, making their cooperation seem seamless, even with their manifestations present. They could clearly feel that it was much more taxing to absorb any earth energy now, but they knew that Shai Ling Feng must be having the same problem as well. Gu Yang's spear danced through the air as the three of them attacked Shai Ling Feng. Mountains collapsed and the earth was torn asunder as they fought. Shai Ling Feng was completely tied down by the three of them. Long Chen, face your death. A sinister laugh rang out. At some point, a black cannon had been pointed on Long Chen. Countless runes flowed around it. It was actually the God Extermination Canon. Chapter 2116 It's all thanks to Boss's patronage that God Extermination Canon and its wielder were further back than the rest of the mechanism sect's experts. Its wielder was the lead formation master. After the formations shattered, he had vanished. Due to the situation being too chaotic, everyone's attention had been focused on Shai Ling Feng, with maybe a bit being on Zhao Wuji. The formation master had stealthily slipped away to activate the god extermination cannon. Due to a formation he had set up, he didn't unleash any fluctuations. Now, the god extermination cannon was fully charged, and a ball of light rapidly condensed at its opening. A terrifying divine aura locked onto Long Chen. Childish. Long Chen suddenly shook his head at that formation master who was smiling sinisterly. 
A flicker of light appeared. Almost no one saw it clearly before it was gone. Scatter. Zhao Wuji suddenly roared and was the first to fly away. The others heard him but didn't know what was going on. Boom. Following that, the world shook from an astounding explosion. The god extermination cannon had exploded, and its fragments flew in every direction with all the power that had been gathering inside it. Cries of horror rang out as the disciples of the mechanism sect were blasted apart. A terrifying shockwave spread like the explosion of a star. Even the Nether Passage experts wearing higher class armor were unable to block it. The runes on their armor rapidly dimmed, and then they fell from the sky one by one. Although the armor still looked fine, it had lost its defensive powers. The wearers had been turned into meat pancakes. Their Yuan spirits had also been crushed by the explosion of the god extermination cannon. They were dead. The sky, which had been filled with powerful experts now only had a few dozen figures left within it. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, and flattened the heavens with my divine crossbow. General of the Dragonblood Legion, Guo Ran is present. Who dares to be arrogant in front of me? Guo Ran appeared in the sky flashily, looking down on Zhao Wuji and the others. He was clad in golden armor and held a giant golden crossbow. Your posing arts are gaining some substance. Your improved phrase sounds better and flows off the tongue. This time, Long Chen was satisfied with Guo Ran's appearance. It didn't feel like forcefully showing off. Perhaps this was even a case of growing up. Haha, <laughs> my accomplishments today are all thanks to boss's patronage. Guo Ran immediately stood at attention and deeply bowed toward Long Chen. What are you saying? Did you learn this kind of posing from me? Cursed Long Chen. While researching the god extermination cannon, Guo Ran had found a fatal weakness in it. At the very peak of its energy accumulation, there was a single moment when all the god extermination cannon's defenses were pulled back. All its defenses had to focus on protecting itself in that state. That was because the attack itself was simply too powerful. But this resulted in the energy accumulating at its mouth to have no protection. If it was struck at that moment, the god extermination cannon would instantly explode. So Guo Ran had been lying in wait this entire time for this moment. Long Chen had guessed that Zhao Wuji would bring a terrifying killing weapon this time. The mechanism sect definitely didn't have only one such weapon. Thus, Zhao Wuji's miserable plight had benefited Guo Ran, allowing him to show off once more. Zhao Wuji was finally unable to endure it anymore. He charged at Guo Ran shooting at him like a blood-colored meteorite. He had clearly seen it. When the god extermination cannon's attack had been about to erupt, Guo Ran had shot an arrow into it, detonating the energy within. It was a simple attack, and yet it had annihilated almost all the elites of the mechanism sect of the 10,000 experts that had come. Only 300 remained. He was unable to accept that result. It had to be known that to ensure things would go smoothly today. Zhao Wuji had brought with him enough power to annihilate ten top sects. In fact, with their armor and mechanisms, any one of them possessed the power to destroy a sect before coming. He had already made a high estimate of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's power. He had even included Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion in his calculations. As a result, he had been absolutely sure in being able to kill them all. As for the current reality? Long Chen had yet to even fight, but the mechanism sect and the stone race's experts were devastated. Zhao Wuji was shocked, infuriated, and uneasy. Zhao Wuji was cut off from Guo Ran by a black saber that fell in front of him. Long Chen was finally taking action. Zhao Wuji, last time I ripped off your skin, so you've brought out this new red skin for me to peel off. Long Chen summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor. White scales covered his entire body. Zhao Wuji was definitely powerful. Guo Ran hadn't finished his new armor, so he would probably be slain in just a few exchanges in a direct clash against Zhao Wuji. Long Chen also saw that Zhao Wuji didn't want to kill Guo Ran and wanted to take him as a hostage. He had noticed that Guo Ran was unreasonably weak. Boss, do you think such a character is fit for you to personally fight? Let this junior take him. How can this be acceptable? Guo Ran immediately spoke up as if he could easily flatten Zhao Wuji, making Long Chen roll his eyes. Fine. Do you want him? 
Long Chen glanced back at Guo Ran. Ah, Nau, how could this junior fight over boss's prey? I wouldn't dare no matter what. Dragon Blood Warriors, attack together. Don't you feel that your weapons have long since grown unbearably thirsty? Guo Ran suddenly changed the subject, allowing him to still show off. Kill. One figure after another appeared in the sky. All the Dragon Blood Warriors had their manifestations active, filling the sky with blood dragons. They have so many awakened Empyreans. Impossible. Zhao Wuji's expression changed. If you feel it's impossible, it's because your intelligence limits your imagination. That's why you fell into my trap today. With your little intelligence, you're essentially a child. You actually wanted to play a competition of smarts? You think a feint is smart? I guess that your mechanism sect relied entirely on these kinds of unscrupulous methods to frighten others and survive until now. You're like a turd that experts don't want to kick and that the weak can't kick. After running rampant for so many years, have you come to the conclusion that you're some supreme expert? Do you even know why Dong Fang Yuang allowed you to participate in the gathering? Ah, someone with your brain definitely can't figure it out. In terms of power, you're not my match. In terms of intelligence, it's like I'm bullying you. Your elders sent you to your death. Even if you weren't their birth child, they shouldn't have just watched as you died like this. Long Chen looked at Zhao Wuji oddly. Rumbling rang out as the Dragon Blood Warriors charged onto the battlefield. The battle between them and the Mechanism Sect plus the Stone Races experts started. The Mechanism Sect's poisonous weapons were able to pierce their dragon scales. And after being struck, the Dragon Blood Warriors' injuries would turn black. But they were prepared. And before the battle, they had consumed the antitoxin pills that Long Chen had refined for them. Although they weren't able to instantly neutralize the poison like Long Chen, they were able to suppress the poison and prevent it from spreading Novaloon.com The Dragon Blood Warriors fought valiantly, while the Mechanism Sect's experts had already had their armor corroded thanks to Xia Chen, weakening them. If struck in one spot a few times, the armor there would break. The Dragon Blood Legion completely outnumbered their opponents, and they were fearless. Their enemies began to drop like flies. Guo Ran was constantly keeping a watch with his crossbow. He would help out anyone in danger. The Dragon Blood Warriors had plenty of combat experience, but they had never exchanged blows with people who fought like the Mechanism Sect and Stone Race. The armor that Guo Ran was wearing was old and couldn't keep up with such a high level combat. He could only shoot arrows from a distance, but his arrows were special and had been prepared by Xia Chen. They possessed an inherent piercing power and easily tore through the mechanism sect's armor. However, Guo Ran didn't possess a limitless stock of the special arrows. He only had 30, so he would only use them at a moment of danger. But if struck in the end, then it didn't matter if they were from the stone race or the mechanism sect. That person would definitely die. Naturally some of the experts from the mechanism sect and the stone race tried to attack Guo Ran but they were blocked by the Dragon Blood Warriors. Seeing his side's people dying one by one, Zhao Wuji's armor lit up. He charged at Long Chen. Long Chen had a faint smile. He actually ignored Zhao Wuji and flashed to the left, slashing his saber on thin air. Boom. That space exploded, revealing a wretched Zhao Wuji. Since you've come, don't you think it would be rude to leave so soon? Sneered Long Chen. Chapter 2117 Getting rid of the lair the Zhao Wuji that was charging at Long Chen was just another one of the mechanism sect's puppets, while the true body fled, trying to conceal himself within an empty space. However, Long Chen had still noticed him and knocked him out of his hidden space. Seeing that he was unable to escape, Zhao Wuji roared. His armor lit up, and he summoned his manifestation. As a fierce aura burst out, he hacked his sickle blades at Long Chen. Long Chen blocked both blades with Evil Moon, sneering. Zhao Wuji, I've memorized all your moves. If this set of armor of yours doesn't have any new abilities, then I'll be sending you to hell right now. You're the one going to hell. Zhao Wuji suddenly smiled sinisterly, and his armor burst off his body, surrounding the two of them. Boss, be careful. Those are demolition runes, shouted Xia Chen. Die. Zhao Wuji's body suddenly shrank slightly, and another set of armor appeared around him, turning him into a defensive sphere. The fragments of his armor exploded, 
and every explosion caused huge ripples in space, all of which layered upon each other where Long Chen was. As a result, a zone of absolute death formed as the explosions echoed. Boss, the Dragonblood warriors were alarmed as the explosive power just now had been too terrifying. Cracks appeared in the surrounding space, making it seem like the entire battlefield was about to tear itself apart. Ha ha ha. Long Chen, I said that you would be the one to die. Zhao Wuji appeared flying out of the fragmented space. His armor had crumbled, and he was covered in blood. One of his arms was gone now, but he was still laughing as he coughed up blood. In the midst of his wild laughter, a sinister-looking black blade stabbed through his back and came out of his chest, cutting off his laughter. Zhao Wuji looked at that blade piercing his body in disbelief. He then turned to see Long Chen standing behind him. Long Chen was also covered in blood. He was so badly wounded that his bones were exposed in several locations. The destructive power of those continuous explosions had been extremely powerful. Xia Chen was pale with fright, as he was the one clearest on just how powerful those demolition runes had been. It was an extremely ancient rune that he had seen before but never used, and it could only be inscribed on one of the toughest divine materials known as Blood Rain Scarlet Blood. He never imagined that Zhao Wuji's entire armor had been made out of it and every scale had been inscribed with that terrifying rune. If it was anyone else, they would have been blown out of existence. It should be time for you to go to hell now. Sorry, but I won't be giving you a chance for any final words, said Long Chen. You think you can kill me? You aren't qualified Zhao Wuji suddenly split in two from his chest. His upper body and lower body flew away, causing Long Chen's killing blow to miss. It was extremely strange. It was like Zhao Wuji no longer possessed a human body, but was a mechanism himself that he could control, dismantling and rejoining as he pleased. The two pieces merged together after dodging Long Chen's attack, forming a complete body once again. Zhao Wuji's expression was malevolent, and a large formation disc appeared beneath him. Long Chen, you missed your only chance to kill me. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Just wait. I'll make sure your life is an endless nightmare. Guo Ran suddenly shot an arrow that pierced straight through Zhao Wuji's chest. It went right through him without hurting him. Zhao Wuji then made a throat-cutting gesture and vanished. As for Long Chen who had been rushing toward him, his attack struck nothing. He wasn't able to make Zhao Wuji stay behind. The rest of the mechanism sect's experts tried to run, but with the Dragonblood warriors blocking their path, only a handful managed to escape. The rest were killed. Long Chen, just wait. Next time I'll definitely wash your entire race with blood, howled Shai Ling Feng. His crystals lit up, forming a pillar of light that enveloped the survivors of the stone race. There were only a few dozen of them remaining. The pillar of light tore through space and brought them away. Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Gu Yang were unable to stop him. In the blink of an eye, all the remnants of the stone race and the mechanism sect had vanished, leaving behind only a wretched battlefield. Boss, are you alright? Xia Chen and the others flew over to the bloody Long Chen. This was their first time seeing him in such a wretched state. Long Chen silently activated the primal chaos bead, healing himself with the life energy inside. I'm fine. That was really close. Sighed Long Chen. The plan had been good but there were always some unexpected things. Long Chen hadn't thought that Zhao Wuji would bring out such a trump card. Fortunately, the Azure Dragon battle armor was extremely strong. Not only did he have the scales, but it also strengthened his flesh and bones. This attack didn't actually pose a fatal threat to him, but experiencing it once was enough for him. Brothers, how was it? Was it satisfying Long Chen smiled at the Dragonblood warriors? Fighting the stone races people was alright, but those people from the mechanism sect were annoying to fight against. Cursed one of the dragonblood warriors. The mechanism sect's people had countless sinister tricks up their sleeves. Fortunately, they had Long Chen's anti-toxin pills, or quite a few of them might have died to their mechanisms. Even now, some of them still had parts of their bodies that were black and numb. They were even starting to rot. If they died to a supreme expert, then fine, there was nothing to say. But dying to people like that? That would be far too irritating. It's too bad Shai Lingfeng and Zhao Wuji got away. Sighed Gu Yang. 
Shai Ling Feng was just too powerful, and even the three of them were unable to beat him. Even tying him down was difficult. If it hadn't been for Li Qi and Song Mingyuan managing to steal away a portion of his earth energy, then Gu Yang wouldn't have been able to fight him at all. This was the power of a supreme genius. Hearing Gu Yang's sigh, Long Chen and Xia Chen smiled. Xia Chen said, It isn't that they escaped, but that boss intentionally let them off. Hmm. <laughs> Long Chen nodded. What else? You think I couldn't kill them with one attack? You think I'd waste time talking? Do you think I'm Guo Ran? To the side. Guo Ran was speechless. He hadn't even said anything. So how did he end up getting pulled into this? Boss, are you casting a long line to hook a bigger fish? Asked Gu Yang. That's about it. But I'm not looking for one fish. I'm looking for the whole school of fish. I want to catch them all in one net. Otherwise, what would be the point of us spending so many resources? Long Chen smiled. At this time, the dragon blood warriors that hadn't had a chance to participate in the battle began to clean up the battlefield. Boss, should we take the corpses of the stone race? Asked one of them. Of course. Those are priceless treasures. Guo Ran immediately shouted. This was Guo Ran's first time seeing the stone race. And as soon as he saw them, he fell in love with them. Every inch of their bodies contained the essence of a divine or if he could extract that essence. He could imbue a rare spirituality into the things he forged. That kind of essence was something that Guo Ran had never seen before, but it was definitely a priceless treasure. The stone race were life forms of stone, and as for how they came to being, no one knew. Their origins were extremely mysterious. There were historical records of several battles between the stone race and the human race. When the stone emperor Shai Changsheng had reached his peak, it had caused a tempest of blood. However, everything regarding Shai Changsheng was unclear. There were no historical records specifically about him. As for Long Chen, he had never been interested in studying history. Guo Ran and Xia Chen were both very interested in the stone race's corpses. Xia Chen in particular was interested in their crystals. They had natural divine heavenly daruns, something that he had never seen before. On the other hand, Guo Ran wanted to smelt their bodies and see what kind of materials he could extract from them. When the sets of armor of the mechanism sect were picked out, Guo Ran was like an excited child. Some of them were still complete, and he could learn many things from them. As for the broken ones, he could always melt them down for their precious materials. Cleaning up the battlefield took two hours. The battle had been exceptionally intense even though it had been short. Some corpses had even penetrated many miles into the ground. During this time, the dragonblood warriors that had participated in the battle managed to expel the poisons invading their bodies and healed themselves. Long Chen's injuries also healed in just half an incense stick's worth of time. Although his injuries looked horrifying, those demolition runes of Zhao Wuji's armor didn't contain heavenly Dao energy or divine energy. Those kinds of energies would stick to injuries and continuously break down the body. Without them, healing was much easier. As Guo Ran took charge of cleaning up the battle spoils, Xia Chen kept a close eye on a formation disc. There were two spots of light moving on the disc. Boss, Zhao Wuji has stopped, and the response has grown weak. He has most likely entered a minor world, declared Xia Chen. Long Chen smiled. Standing up, he announced, Brothers, Break time is over. This time, we're going to get rid of the Mechanism Sect's lair. Chapter 2118 Killing their way into the Mechanism Sect where the Eastern Xuan region met the Northern Xuan region. There was a desolate mountain. This place had once housed a giant spirit crystal mine. Countless forces had fought over this area before. It was unknown just how many experts' lives had ended here. Later, all the spirit crystals had been excavated and the place was abandoned. Due to the battles that had been fought here, the terrain was badly damaged. Without any spirit crystals present, the spiritual chi here grew sparse. There wasn't enough energy for trees to grow here. Only a few wild weeds and nameless thistles managed to survive on the thin air, expressing their own unyielding nature to the world. Seeing this desolate scene, Guo Ran couldn't help suspiciously asking, Xia Chen, are you sure this place is the entrance to the mechanism sect? Long Chen had brought the Dragonblood Legion here. When they saw the deserted location, 
they all felt some doubts about whether or not Xia Chen had taken them to the right place. Anywhere experts frequently went to would normally be flourishing with life. The spiritual qi that experts possessed would naturally nourish the land. I can't say whether or not it's the entrance, but Zhao Wuji's signal vanished here. I can still sense the spiritual mark that boss left on him, said Xia Chen confidently. It's very normal. The mechanism sects armor seals in their life aura and spiritual yuan. This kind of barren land won't draw anyone's attention, so it's a good place for them to hide. Don't worry Xia Chen. Once you find the general location, we can start searching for the entrance. Put down a concealing formation to hide everyone. In any case, we have more time than them, said Long Chen. Zhao Wuji would definitely need to have a discussion with the higher-ups to tell them about their losses. They would need to come up with a plan of counterattack and perhaps even communicate with the stone race. That would all take time. Xia Chen nodded and hid the dragon blood warriors. As for the others, they sat and meditated, keeping themselves in top condition for battle. Boss, why didn't you let the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows join us? Their attack power is amazing, said Guo Ran. Kei Yuzhu had wanted to bring her experts with them, but Long Chen had declined, telling them to guard their territory. Can you think before talking? Do you think we're the only ones capable of scheming against others? Are you sure that every one of our actions has been kept secret? What if someone noticed some things and figured out our next moves? If we attacked the mechanism sect only to return to a destroyed cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, what would we do? Demanded Long Chen irritably. There's no way we have traitors amongst us, said Guo Ran. Even without traitors, are you sure no one was watching the battle? Are you sure there's no one in this world better at formations than Xia Chen? Are you sure that no one can determine our target based on a few clues? Don't think that just because we're stronger, we can be careless. One wrong step and we can still lose. You didn't go to the gathering, so you don't know just how strong those people are. Ignoring all those other geniuses, if I wasn't present, how would you handle Shai Lingfeng and Zhao Wuji? What if someone like Shai Lingfeng goes to destroy the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race while we're all gone? We might not even know who did it. Just because Xia Chen has many backups in place, it doesn't mean that we can be stupid. I don't want to implicate others. Understand? The Dragonblood Legion is unafraid of death, but dragging others down because of our carelessness is worse than killing us. So learn how to be prudent, said Long Chen. Ah, I understand boss. I wasn't too thorough in my thinking. Guo Ran nodded. No one can be entirely thorough because we are people not gods. People will always have some flaws. When it comes to me, I can act logically right now because I'm calm. But if I was angry, I would have just attacked regardless of anything else. My brothers are all united. We live together, and we die together. Worst case, 20 years later, we'll reincarnate and be good men again. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder with a smile. He, we like this domineering character of yours. We cultivate to be able to live and act freely. To be able to follow boss. Our lives weren't wasted. Said Guo Ran. Not bad. Your sucking up ability has grown. It's not as stiff as before. Laughed Long Chen. Boss. We only brought a thousand people. To attack a sect from the ancient era with just our numbers. Isn't it a bit too arrogant? Asked Guo Ran. At first. Guo Ran had been excited. But now that Long Chen had told him to think things through. He was starting to grow uneasy. The mechanism sect had raised many experts. They had summoned 3,000 nether passage experts just to attack the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Just what kind of terrifying foundation was that? Furthermore, for a sect to be able to raise a genius like Zhao Wuji meant that they had to have many terrifying trump cards. The reason the Dragonblood warriors were able to crush the ones that had come to them was because they had fallen into a trap. If it was a direct clash, even if the Dragonblood Legion could win, it would have come with a great price. Having switched from defense to offense, their advantage had vanished. Guo Ran's confidence was starting to flag. Most importantly, he didn't have his new armor, and he only had a few of his armor-piercing arrows. Arrogant? We have to be arrogant. Otherwise, we won't be able to shock certain people, and they'll only continue to bring us endless trouble. 
we have to be arrogant and domineering. Don't think that you can wait until your armor is complete and your realm has increased. Other people will also be improving at the same time. And we have so many enemies that we'll be constantly disturbed and delayed. That's why we need to take risks while others don't. Big gods. Big risks. They bring big riches too. Said Long Chen. Alright. That's too deep for me. All I need to know is that as long as I follow boss. Life will definitely be fun and spicy. Said Guo Ran. I found it. Xia Chen suddenly interrupted them. A mark had appeared on his formation disc. This mark was an image of a gate. Long Chen smiled. Xia Chen was much more dependable than Guo Ran. He had found it so quickly. Xia Chen went over to a space between two mountains, but it was still barren without any fluctuations. There were no clues. The gate lies here. On the other side of the gate is the mechanism sect's minor world. Boss. If you give me a few more hours, I can dismantle the gate. Protect me while I establish a formation to hide us as I do this. Xia Chen immediately got to work. There's no need to go to so much trouble. Long Chen shook his head. He took out Devil Moon. Split the heavens seven. A crack appeared in the void. On the other side of that crack wasn't endless darkness, but another world. That meant that Xia Chen had truly found the right spatial node. Split the heavens naturally possessed the power to cut the world apart. It was specialized in breaking barriers, including spatial walls. Who's there? The people on the other side were immediately startled, and dozens of armored experts came flying over. The people who will destroy your mechanism sect. Long Chen snorted and slashed Devil Moon out again, drawing a giant X in the void. The surrounding space shattered, and a powerful explosion blew back the surrounding sand and stone. As for the mechanism sect's experts that had been flying over, they were blown back. A giant gate revealed itself in the air. Long Chen had destroyed the defenses of the minor world, fully revealing the gate. The gate shook intensely, and an alarm rang out on the other side. It was possible to see a huge castle inside filled with tall buildings. Long Chen jumped inside. His vision of the minor world grew clearer. He was surrounded by skyscrapers. At the center of the minor world was a giant tower. It was the largest building in this world, and it was surrounded by runes. The walls were see-through, and they could see giant gears slowly spinning inside. Those gears controlled a strange rhythm of the entire minor world. Long Chen's focus was immediately attracted to the tower. A giant saber image tore into the sky, shattering the laws of this world. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen's roar was like the roar of a god. It rumbled throughout the sky, and Devil Moon's saber image crashed into that giant tower. It was like divine fury. The entire world was split in two, and the giant tower exploded. With the destruction of the tower, the rest of the buildings instantly dimmed. Zhao Wuji, didn't you tell me to wait? I'm rather impatient, so I personally came to find you. People of the Mechanism sect, listen well. If you don't want to die, then hurry up and run. Or don't blame my butcher's knife for being merciless Long Chen's shout resounded throughout the minor world. One terrifying aura after another began to rise within the mechanism sect countless figures flew out of the giant buildings, charging at Long Chen. Chapter 2119 Truly powerful enough to exterminate worlds Long Chen. One figure in particular roared furiously amongst those countless figures. It was Zhao Wuji who had fled back to this place. Originally. The mechanism sect had prepared a banquet as a celebration. They had sent out a large number of elites and were simply waiting for Zhao Wuji and them to return in triumph. However, they had never imagined that, including Zhao Wuji, only nine people would return. Zhao Wuji was so badly injured that he had lost consciousness. The mechanism sect had immediately gathered the higher ups. They had saved Zhao Wuji and listened to him about what had happened while healing. Zhao Wuji told them the whole story. By the time he was finished, they had yet to make any decisions on what to do when Long Chen came charging in. The alarm had just rung out when Long Chen destroyed their core tower. That tower was the crux of their grand formation. In the past, the mechanism sect had been attacked by other powerful experts, but without exception, all of them never returned. They had been annihilated by their grand formation. Perhaps it was because things had been too peaceful for too long, or perhaps because they had been sealed for so long that they had used up too many resources. In any case, 
In order to save some resources, they had shut down the Grand Formation's automatic killing function. Keeping the formation active meant using up a huge amount of resources. At first, they had just shut down the killing aspect of it, but then they had decided to shut down the defensive aspect as well. Ever since they had chosen this place as the entrance to their minor world, they had been concealed, and no one had ever found them. They had started to grow careless, thinking that no one could find them here. As a result, Long Chen had found them. Not only had he found them, but he had also destroyed the core of their grand formation. With the destruction of the tower, whether it was their defensive formation or their killing formation, everything had turned into garbage. Seeing this made Zhao Wuji so angry that he almost went crazy. Kill him. The rest of the mechanism sect was also infuriated. This one attack from Long Chen was the greatest humiliation the mechanism sect had ever suffered in all of history. Just at this moment, one of the elders took out a god extermination cannon. As soon as Zhao Wuji saw it, he turned green with fright. Stop. Only then did the elder recall that Zhao Wuji had said that Long Chen had a terrifying archer by his side. The majority of the people that Zhao Wuji had brought had been killed because of that archer shooting the god extermination cannon. He hastily put it away. Four grand sect protecting elders. Kill him. There's no need to capture him alive shouted Zhao Wuji. Four elders wearing violet-scaled armor surrounded Long Chen. A net shot out of their palms, enveloping Long Chen. The four elders' movements were in unison. They were clearly highly skilled in working together. The net was covered in sharp barbs that dripped with a blue liquid. Scram! Flames burst out of Long Chen's body, forming a cage around him. He had taken out the raging flame prison. However, this time, he wasn't using it to trap someone. Instead, the cage rapidly spread toward the four elders. The nets they shot out were instantly incinerated. While the cage continued spreading, the four elders tried to stop it. But when the intense flames attacked them, their expressions changed and they retreated. They were shocked to find that when the flames touched their armor, their flame-proof armor started to burn. They immediately focused on putting out the flames, or their armor would be destroyed. The mechanism sect that terrified the rest of the world only relies on some shameful methods to survive. When your mechanisms are broken, you instantly become trash. No wonder you keep your mechanisms so tightly guarded. If this is all the ability you have, then don't waste any more of my time. Your mechanism sect is being destroyed today. The flame prison spreading around Long Chen exploded, unleashing flames throughout the entire minor world. Within those flames, Long Chen raised his right hand. A flame lotus slowly condensed. A scorching air spread. The world continued to burn as a terrifying aura filled heaven and earth. The flames around Long Chen rippled. It was like he was in a lake. Once fear slowly appeared on each of the nine petals of the lotus. Flame energy surged within those spheres. They blazed like stars. And following the first, the second set of flame spheres also appeared. The two sets of spheres seemed to possess completely different energies. They both repulsed and attracted each other, revolving around each other. As they revolved, a third sphere appeared between them, and then all three spheres vanished, merging into one Taiji diagram. The flame lotus shuddered. It then explosively grew, expanding from a foot long to hundreds of feet long. It was completely different from the flame lotuses that Long Chen had summoned before. This time, the nine Taiji diagrams naturally moved from the petals toward the center. When the nine Taiji diagrams met, they merged into one large Taiji diagram. The flame lotus shook. It was like it had been bestowed with life. A flame sphere appeared on the nine petals once more. The nine spheres unleashed rays of divine light that merged with the core Taiji diagram. The nine lights connected, creating a strange loop. The flame energy surrounding Long Chen vanished and the entire minor world was thrown into darkness. The only thing within it was a burning lotus. A terrifying heat caused the bricks on the ground of the mechanism sect to melt. Some of the buildings caught fire, and the disciples of the sect fled in panic. Kill him together. Zhao Wuji was appalled. He had never imagined that Long Chen possessed such a terrifying move. Ever since they had fought, he thought that he had figured out Long Chen's power level. Although he had lost twice. He always thought that he had just been a bit away from defeating Long Chen. However, seeing this absolutely horrifying technique, 
he realized that Long Chen had never brought out his true power. Tens of thousands of experts from the mechanism sect attacked Long Chen at the same time. A torrent of attacks flew toward him as they all used their strongest killing moves. If they weren't afraid that Guo Ran was hiding somewhere, they would have taken out the God Extermination Cannon. A World Extermination Flame Lotus on the one star level. Long Chen looked at the single star on each petal and smiled. This World Extermination Flame Lotus had finally taken the right form today. Today, I'll use your mechanism sec to test my move. Long Chen threw the Flame Lotus at the world beneath them. It instantly grew larger. The giant Flame Lotus filled the sky. The attacks from the mechanism sect's experts were devoured by just the outer waves emanating from the Flame Lotus. Their weapons instantly melted. How is this happening impossible? Alert the Patriarch. It's already too late. Run. Panicked cries rang out. The mechanism sect's experts were only skilled in their mechanisms. As for magical arts, they only had a superficial understanding of them. Seeing that their attacks were all ineffective against this Flame Lotus. They were dumbfounded. They then fled for their lives. When the flame lotus was about to strike the land, it grew once more. The nine star falls on top of it didn't explode like before. Instead, they instantly went out. At that moment, all their power returned to the Teiji diagram in the center. The Teiji diagram stopped spinning and suddenly exploded. The world extermination flame lotus transformed into a giant sphere. That wasn't a protective sphere. It rapidly spread. All the buildings and people in its path were blown to bits and then incinerated. No. Cries of despair rang out. Some of the fleeing experts were devoured by the flame lotus, vanishing without a trace. The flames filled the entire minor world. A bottomless hole appeared at the center of the impact. All the buildings in this minor world had been destroyed. This noisy world became silent. This is way too exaggerated Long Chen himself was stunned. He hadn't dared to imagine that his world extermination flame lotus would be so terrifying. This was truly world-destroying. During the gathering of past and present heroes, he had made a breakthrough with his world extermination flame lotus and had been testing it with the heaven incinerating flame. This time, he had used the inverse Tao water spirit flame, but he hadn't expected this flame to cause a change in the flame lotus, resulting in a strange loop forming between the star falls. That had just been one star fall on each petal. What if it had been two, or three? Just how powerful would it be then? Long Chen was both excited and nervous. He felt disbelief. Such a terrifying technique had actually been made by him. On the edges of the minor world, a pile of rubble shifted and a figure crawled out. This person was chaired black all over. His body was no longer complete. Only his eyes gave a clue about his identity. It was Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji was no longer as arrogant and tyrannical as he had been during the gathering. He hadn't even fully recovered from his previous injuries when this attack struck him. If other experts hadn't taken his place to block the flames, he would already be dead. However, he was essentially a corpse now. What's going on? What is going on? This can't be real. Zhao Wuji shuddered. He couldn't accept how the glorious mechanism sect had been turned into ruins by a single attack from Long Chen. Boom. Suddenly, an explosion came from underground. Fierce killing intent spread as a wild-haired elder slowly floated out of the earth. Chapter 2120 The Sixth Sense Since the heavens the elder floating up looked crazed. His hair was in disarray. His eyes were red. There was a large blood stain around his mouth Novaloon.com seeing that elder. Long Chen worriedly asked, Are you alright? Did you not accomplish your dreams before dying, Patriarch? Zhao Wuji let out a startled cry upon seeing that elder. The elder suddenly extended his hand, and a blood-colored sword appeared. At the same time, his body became covered in a sinister set of armor. Like a wild beast, he charged at Long Chen. Hearing that this was the Patriarch, Long Chen had a bad feeling. He barely had time to take out Evil Moon before the Elder arrived in front of him. Boom. Relying on his intuition, Long Chen managed to properly raise Evil Moon in time to block this attack. But there was an irresistible power behind his enemy's sword that he couldn't stop. Long Chen smashed into the ground, leaving a long ditch. He was shocked by this Elder's power. It seemed that his power didn't come entirely from his armor because Long Chen's bones had been broken by this one attack. 
Before Long Chen even came to a stop, eight chains shot out of the elder's back. At the ends of the chains were sinister ghost heads that wailed as they shot at Long Chen. Every single one of those chains caused an ear-piercing sound as they tore through the air. Boom. With a shout, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon into the first chain. The chain was knocked back, while Long Chen was sent flying once more by the berserk power within the chain. His power, Long Chen's expression changed. The chains continued whistling toward Long Chen, and he couldn't take them out directly. He repeatedly dodged, causing the chains to pierce deep into the ground. Boom. However, the chains were extremely fast, so fast that others wouldn't be able to react. Unable to dodge them all, Long Chen could only block it again. It was like a giant hammer had struck him. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, but now he was sure of this elder's cultivation base. He was at the fourth step of Nether Passage. A fourth step Nether Passage expert could control Samsara energy. It was a kind of law, the law of reincarnation, a law of an endless cycle. Long Chen's own power was sucked away by that cycle and slowly ground away until it vanished. Once when he had been injured, Daoist Heavenly Feather had helped him out a bit so that he could heal. It was at that moment that he had gained a glimmer of insight into the Samsara realm. All the Daos of Heaven and Earth were contained within this realm of reincarnation. Upon encountering this kind of power, there was no way to counterattack. Unless Long Chen's power could surpass his opponent's Samsara power, all his attacks would be useless. Long Chen repeatedly blocked with Evil Moon each strike causing him to cough up a large mouthful of blood and be blown back. In front of this Samsara power, his own power was unable to do anything. Each blow made him feel like his body would fall apart. He had a thought to use the eighth form of split the heavens and see if that could do anything. But the elder's attacks were coming too fast for him to do that. There were eight chains continuously striking at him. Hence, there was no chance for him to unleash it. Old man. If you still don't do anything, I'm going to be beaten to death, shouted Long Chen suddenly. Fool, what did I teach you? Have you already forgotten it? The old man's scolding voice rang out from the sky. When I taught you the sixth form of split the heavens, didn't I teach you about the sixth sense? No matter how the 10,000 deos cycle, my one saber can break them. All transformations are empty. All changes do not leave the source. All twists and turns are the same in front of the sixth sense. Little fellow, have you already forgotten it all? The old man's large figure appeared in the sky, and Long Chen cursed at him inside. It was easy for him to talk, but this Samsara power was shaking the very spatial laws and deos of the surroundings. Just how was he supposed to open his sixth sense in this scenario? This so-called sixth sense referred to not even looking at his opponent's moves. It relied entirely on feeling. The idea was to rely entirely on this feeling to dodge as you activated split the heavens. However, with the surrounding space disturbed by the elder Samsara power, just what was Long Chen supposed to sense? If he blindly attacked, that was no different than suicide. What are you hesitating for? How will you know whether or not it will work if you don't try? When did you become as cowardly as a mouse? Shouted the old man. If he had to die, then he had to die. The old man's opinion of him was dropping, clenching his teeth. Long Chen calmed himself and expelled all his distracting thoughts. He raised Evil Moon toward the sky with both hands. A black saber image tore into the sky, causing the world to change color. The entire minor world shuddered. Although Long Chen had also used the eighth form of split the heavens previously, that hadn't been a full force attack. Upon seeing that the ancient tower was most likely the hub of the entire mechanism sect, Long Chen had simply used the amount of power he deemed necessary to destroy it. In the face of a fourth step nether passage expert, he had no choice but to use his full power. Otherwise, his attack would just be an itch. When Long Chen fully immersed himself in the eighth form of split the heavens, he suddenly felt this chaotic space become clear. It was like time had slowed down. The chain attacks coming toward him seemed to naturally go past his body without him even having to dodge. Those attacks weren't actually missing. It was just that Long Chen's body was automatically sensing danger and dodging as he used the eighth form of split the heavens. So this is what the sixth sense. Sense the heavens means. Long Chen only understood it now. 
Split the heavens was truly a mystical art. The old man finally smiled upon seeing Long Chen seeming to swim through the elders' attacks. The nine forms of split the heavens were the most precious treasures of the heaven-splitting battle sect and their foundation. It was their only battle skill, but back in the day, it had been enough to make them the leader of the three great heavenly sects. The founder of the heaven-splitting battle sect had taken all the complexities and secrets of the Tao and distilled them into nine simple arts, creating an unprecedented inheritance for the future. The wisdom and intelligence required to create such a thing were shocking. The mechanism sect's patriarch's attacks were unable to find Long Chen. More and more energy gathered within his saber image until space twisted so badly that it began to collapse. Seeing how powerful the saber image was growing, even the old man was amazed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to possess a strong enough will to control so much energy. Using split the heavens didn't just require a large amount of spiritual yuan, but it also required a powerful will. In fact, the latter was even more important than the former. That was because you needed to have the will to actually split the heavens before using the skill. It was a will to break the heavens and escape from any bindings. As for cultivators, they normally needed to conform with the heavenly deos, following their laws. The only way to ascend was to reach such a level of immersion with the heavenly deos that you became one with the heavenly deos. However, the heaven-splitting battle sect's path was different. Although they had respect for the heavenly deos, they did not follow them. There was a vague sense of fighting against the heavenly deos. That was why all the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were tough and stubborn. It was related to their cultivation. They needed a will to fight against the very heavens. That was the only way for them to fully unleash the divine essence of split the heavens. As for the will that Long Chen was currently expressing, it was no longer a will to split the heavens but to crush the heavens into pieces, to trample all deos beneath his feet. Split. The. Heavens eight. Long Chen spat out the name of this technique one word at a time. Every word howled throughout the world. His voice was like a thundering divine drum. Finally, his saber fell. It was like a black river of stars was chopping down from the cosmos, going straight toward the elder. The elder suddenly pulled back his chains, with a howl. The blood-colored sword in his hand unleashed a brilliant ray of light. All the scales on his body lit up, a strange rune floating out of each of them. They flowed into his attack like the tide. A sound like crashing waves resounded through the air. B-O-O-O-M. Their two attacks crashed together. The void buzzed and quivered. As the sword light exploded, Long Chen's saber image sent the elder flying. The elder coughed up a mouthful of blood, a large opening appearing in his armor. Well done, the old man exclaimed. This attack of Long Chen truly unleashed the will of split the heavens. That was the only reason why he had managed to break his opponent's attack which contained the will of reincarnation. After unleashing this attack, Long Chen immediately felt a wave of weakness. That one attack had almost sucked up all his power. However, to have injured a fourth step nether passage expert, he was filled with pride. He would be able to brag about this for a long time. Suddenly, rumbling rang out. The earth split open, and chains shot out of the ground, shooting toward the elder. Patriarch, you can't. Seeing this scene, Zhao Wuji and the survivors of the mechanism sect let out horrified cries. Long Chen was also startled. Those chains contained the fluctuations of heaven and earth divine elixir. That was the foundation of any sect. A manifestation of their karmic luck. Has he gone insane? Demanded Long Chen. You only noticed now? Your flame lotus disturbed him during a critical juncture. He was in seclusion underground attacking a barrier, and your disturbance caused him to become bedeviled. His mind is no longer clear. Did you not notice that he hasn't said a single word the entire time? Said the old man. Ah, is that true? What do you think? He was fighting purely instinctively. Did you not see how stiff his attacks were? Do you really think a fourth step nether passage expert would be unable to do anything to you? Snorted the old man. Stop the patriarch. Otherwise, the mechanism sect is done for. Shouted Zhao Wuji. Only then did the other experts rush over to break the chains. Those who block me will die. The patriarch suddenly roared. The light from the chains exploded in power. The mechanism sect's experts that had rushed over were blasted to smithereens. How could this happen? 
Zhao Wuji was pale with despair. It's over. The mechanism sect is finished. 